I can collect platinum points. No worries, Anubis. We appreciate the lurk. We appreciate just the lurk. I I get it. I've also been avoiding watching other people's streams, even though I want to support people. So I have been lurking at people. You did get first shot, thank you, Moonred. If you want to refund, if you want us to refund those points, let us know. Like that, Anubis. You do slash me and then. This strange yeah. gloom keeps getting thicker. Oh boy. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels yeah, are Zelda looks so I adorable thought. with short hair. What could be down here? Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Hopefully the audio is okay. Let me know if the audio is not. Oh, look, I start with the Master Sword. Is it like my fully powered Master Sword? That looks like the fully powered Master Sword. Okay, hold on. Uh, controls. Can I change these? Uh, options. Amiibo disabled. Can I use Amiibo until you reach a certain point? Okay. Uh, vertical, no. Camera sensitivity, change that to high. Yeah, change that to high for now. Um, aim with motion controls, sure. Swap jump controls. Assign jump to B and dash to X. Wait, can I not? Oh, this is going to confuse me when I play Genshin later. <laughs> Um, special controls? Oh, okay, that's for probably tutorials. Wow. It's, it's like, it's been like 30 years and Nintendo still hasn't figured out how to do like just custom controls. And jumped. Yeah, they really... Whatever. I'll figure it out. Alright, maybe I do want to change it to... Swap jump controls. Yep. Yeah. Whoops. Okay, that's at least a little better. I guess I can't view my inventory yet, so I don't know if it's the same Master Sword that I had in the last game. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. Strike it down. <laughs> Coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. I wonder if anybody's found a way to like break this sequence already. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Like, can we just like get out of here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have my glider anymore. Okay, that's strafing. Wait, what's what was my dash button? Oh, that's sneaking. That's aiming. Oh, that's dash. Okay. Hmm. 
Come on, Zelda, catch up. Huh? Hmm. A master sword. It's glowing. That means there are orcs nearby. You must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I could never have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Huh? We must be careful as we move deeper. We have a dialogue log now? That's awesome! Swing sword. Aya! <laughs> the master sword can't break, right? Lake, look here. Turn to Zelda when you go further? Oh, okay. There are ruins from an ancient civilization. Something's written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? I'm sure the Zonai, their Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. The statue's there. I'm trying to see you run. Save? Okay. Is that what the Zonai look like? They seem so much different than us, and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Come on, Slowpoke. Oh, there's her run. Nuts. You are not just hurt, bats. are you, Link? Yeah, it was just bats. <gasps> Look at these murals. <gasps> the written histories of the royal family. Include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Could it possibly be Ganondorf? Those look like moblins Is and bokoblins. Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> oh, that's a Zonai. This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. Do they? This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Oh. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Hmm. Zelda's ancestor. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the Kingdom of Hyrule. You would think there would be more evidence of this. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power She's from the young bird. kingdom. I believe it. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the Demon King. 
and a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... We already beat him. Right? Oh. Incredible! This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! This is the Imprisoning War, and the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! I mean, I'm no archaeologist. <laughs> Alright then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. Pura? Pura? It's so easy to record. Pura the whole time. You point it and click. Oh. Rocks, don't worry, I'll take but care the of them. The rest of the murals are obscured. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, I wonder if we can actually break those rocks. Let's keep moving deeper. I don't have the Sheikah slate with me. Hold on, Zelda. I'll break these rocks for you. run button. Oh, there's malice or something up ahead. I oh, know it's that fog thing. Uh, there you go. That's what that redeem was supposed to look like, I guess. Like Sheikah technology. What is this place? Let's continue, Link. We must be extremely careful. Alright. What is that? I don't know. You're the archaeologist. It's Ganon. He's got a hand on him. Well, that's creepy. That looks like that thing from, uh, from Skyward Sword. Those things that you collect during the trials. Those, like, teardrop things. Oh, is this gonna be a boss fight? Oh, it's okay, he's dead. Loot his body! Oh. Oh no! My heart! Oh, and the rest is Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. My progress. Did they take all my stamina no. bars as well? Who carries that fragile sword? A link. Roru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you know our names? old geezer. 
Oh, we just fixed that castle. It's gonna affect the trout population. I guess it is linked to the whole prophecy thing. The sky is falling. Turn the game down, turn mic up, okay. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. It was drowning out? Oh, okay. The cutscene was very loud. Hopefully it's a little better balanced now. Cool. That's like my arm. Oh, Link has his hair down now. I wonder if we get to customize his hairstyle. That must be a little freaky having like an old man's arm as your arm. Oh, Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. Oh. You have to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Oh, okay, I see. Is Link just armless now? Is that why he's a left-handed swordsman in the future? The hand cut off Link's arm? I guess so. Jump. Oh, yep, my stamina bar is at zero now. Oh, I still don't have the wind glider. Or the, the glider. Yeah, it's still usable. Shirpats is on a hot tub first. Oh no. Decayed Master Sword. One attack. Sword that seals the darkness. Sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Oh, I can go to my inventory now. Oh, and you know. Okay. Yeah, I know how to attack. Cool. Oh, oh, I guess I don't have a Sheikah Slate. Wait, how do I block? What was the block button? Do I need a shield to do that? I guess so. Oh, sharp enough to still cut through this. Ooh, a portal. Hold on, I'm gonna explore the rest of the room first. Is there anything around here? Any secrets? Any treasure chests? I guess not. Huh? 
I assume we come back here later. This room seems a little detailed. Block on, I'm blocking on. Oh, okay. Link, look out behind you! Oh, is this like the introduction to shrines? It looks like I can climb that. Wait, can I? Should go later? Yeah, probably. Oh. I don't know why he feels the need to do a dive every time. I can just run off the edge, right? Or is this a bad idea? Okay, landing in water even from a great height will prevent you from taking fall damage. That's probably really important to know. Should I get some clothes? Archaic legwear. Go. Yes, I got a skirt. Let's go. Hydrate. Okay. I'll hydrate Link too. Uh, you. All right. Is there anything else? This is just the skirt. Surely there must be a matching shirt, unless I missed it already. There's the world. Your stamina rule runs out, you'll be too tired to do certain actions to, until it fills up again. Wow. Look how high I am. Before I jump, I just want to see if I can climb these. I guess not. Uh, you. I'm supposed to land in water, right? Oh, I, I see. This is the intro. <laughs> Can we go much higher? So high. What if you don't? That would be. That's a great question. I don't think it would have let me. Pretty sure it would have automatically gone into this cutscene. Accelerate, hold R. Yo, what happens if I land on the lily pad? Alright, let's go. There was a dragon. Great Sky Island. Let's go wreck some shit. Oh, a stick! Wow, it's got double the attack power of the sword. All right, just put that sharp sword in my pocket. Oh, and some mushrooms. Sky shrooms. Wait, can I use my sword to cut down trees? Master sword's running low on energy. Oh, master sword's out of energy. Uh-oh, did I just like destroy it permanently? No, okay, it'll probably just recharge. Ah! What is that? Ah! Uh. 
Wait, where was the lock-on button? Oh, there we go. Soldier Construct Horn. Zonai Charge. Alright, uh, well, let's get these mushrooms. I need to find another branch. Stat. Because Link apparently can't fight with his hands. I really want to set the dash button or the run button to one of the bumpers. So awkward. Oh, apples! Oh, branch! Yosh. Surely there are more branches around here. Ah, there are. Alright, what is this? A sword! A wooden stick! Alright. You've been playing too much Genshin? Genshin has like a really good control scheme, like everything is where you need it to be. And it makes sense for like, open world exploration. Oh, I see another construct. It looks like a fist or something. Oh, it's like a helmet? Armor? A maid bot? Reset your Genshin controls to match Breath of the Wild? I mean, I started Genshin before they gave you the ability to remap buttons, so I just got used to the Genshin buttons. Are you friendly? Am I gonna have to kick your ass? Link, I have awaited you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Is that the Sheikah Slate? This is the Pura Pad. Pura. Pura? How do they pronounce it? I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Zelda's alive? Look, it's got triggers now. It's a switch! Pura pad. Nice. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Uh, where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no, but no more. Now it is a lonely place. Now one visits. Steward construct. All right. Objective: find Princess Zelda. All right. Wow. All right. Wow. This is an expansive island. All right. So I guess we just gotta go over there. There's a mini map too. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to press, I meant to press that button. That does nothing yet. This does nothing yet. Okay, goodbye. Temple of Time has finally returned to the sky. Alright, so anything else to collect around here? More sticks! wonder what my inventory size is. I guess that's the max number of um, things I can hold right now. Oh, 
What is this? And a Zone Eye Charge. More sticks. More apples. Oh, can I break these pots? You there! Oops, how do I throw? Oh, throw. Danger! Alright, so some of these are nice. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Okie dokie. Our creators gave them specific orders to eliminate trespassers. Be careful around them. My concern may be excessive, but I have one piece of advice to offer you. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. I asked him to work just fine last time. You may practice the targeting on me if you want. Alright. Your funeral. Alright. Another sword. Hiya. Mmm, apples. Nothing. Wait. Can I not target while I'm holding something? Whoops. Okay, whatever. Um, alright. So I have to go this way for Zelda. Fish! Come here, you. Come here, you! No! Whoops! I didn't mean to throw that. Oh, it ran away. I see a soldier. Let's go kick its ass! Oops! Alright. You're not gonna get the best of me twice. Ah! Okay. Can I still do, like, uh... Throw weapon? Okay. okay. Can I still do the, whatchamacallit? Um... The parry thing? Oh, no! Alright, if I die, it's not a problem. Okay. Oops! Okay. Time to learn some new timings. Quit. I give up. This game's too hard. Check the screen for hints and will surely aid you on your journey. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Do I have to watch the bridge again? No way to skip this. Harry needs a shield. Glory Rush, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, you can see where you died on the map as well. Let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, did I? What's my inventory look like? Oh, I lost some stuff. Hold on, let me go recollect it. All right, note to self, don't die. Uh, do you then use that as a weapon against soldier constructs? Not really. Okay, we saw this already. Okay, I know how to target. Oh, cool, I saw the log button as well, that's pretty nice. It's actually the first time you've seen the death mark. Probably because I'm the only one stupid enough to die in the tutorial area. Alright, let's go get our revenge. Oh, this will end well. Come here, frogs. 
Oh, I'm gonna drown. You did die the first time on this island? Understandable. Alright, only lost a heart of health. Let's go. Come here, frog! Oh man, these things are fast. Dang it, it ran away. a prompt. Oh, whatever. Okay, there he is. Come here, you. Alright, I'm gonna practice the flurry rush on you. Ugh! I should probably eat and stuff. Ooh, that okay, swings twice there. Can I just eat right now? That's good enough. Oh, darn it. He's in the middle of my swing. You can't do that. Ah, oh, there we go. I still got it. I'm reaching the limits of how many I can carry right now. Oh, can't carry, okay. Uh, I can't throw away the Master Sword, so it's fine. Is there a way to clear the Death Marker? <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Can I select? I guess not. I guess I guess that'll just clear out my next death. There's boulders up here. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, that one has a long stick. I just eliminated it. Give me long stick. Right, hold on. Uh oh, I heard another one. Uh -huh. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Long stick. Oh, it only does two damage, but it has better range. That's right, I'll use this one. Come here, you. Oh, there's multiples of them. Oh! Alright. Oh, you want a piece of me? I can flurry rush. Uh. All right. Hardly a fair fight. All right. Uh, weapons. Let's drop some of this. All right. Boy, I'm using up a lot of apples already. I should stop trying to flurry rush. Ah, more apples. Oops, that's the wrong button. Oh, there's like mechanical parts here. Alright, I gotta go find Zelda. She's probably up there. Oh, I see another thing. Go after meat too? Oh yeah. Oh wait, no, that's one of the, the servant ones. So he's friendly, I hope. Hello. Hello. Were you lured in by the delicious smells? I assume so. You can smell? Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by the fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. <laughs> Roasting? You are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer How helpful. I recall that your question was about roasting food. 
I roast ingredients by placing it besides the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Okie dokie. Toasty sky shrooms. Okay, how do I... Uh... Oh, hold. Okay. Can I just, like, drop? Can they become burnt? Baked apples. I guess I don't have like a cooking pot or anything right now. Go after meat too? Yeah, I'll probably have to find some meat. I assume I can't cook the construct parts, but... It doesn't look like I can burn the apples, so... Let's just toss it by the fire. Missed one, that's fine. Yum yum yum. Oh, it looks like one was actually about to be set on fire. Okay. Toasty Sky Shroom. Whoops, I picked that one up too early. That's okay. Wait, I do wonder if I can burn an apple. Or a Sky Shroom. I'm out of apples. That's right. I'll burn a sketch room. All right. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, okay. So that's what happens when it burns. Got it. Now, can I light sticks on fire? I absolutely can. Let's go burn down the- oh, okay. Okay. Can I light a tree on fire with this? Nope. Wait, wasn't there- oh, I'm lighting the grass on fire! Wait a second. That gives me an idea. Do 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 do! Don't mind me! Can I light this on fire? Wasn't there a button that you could press to like just set the torch down without... Nope, that wasn't it. Nope, that's to throw. Select material to throw. I could throw sky shrooms? Oh, whoa, that's cool! Why is the place on fire? Don't worry about it. Just learning the controls. Okay. Right, I have to go rescue Zelda. I gotta learn all the mechanics so that I can abuse them later. Or abuse them now if the game will allow me. Boy, you guys should really fix these stairs. This is really not, uh, not handicap friendly. Oh, I only still have my- oh, that's a shield! Backflips. Yeah. Come here, you! Rusty broadsword? That's mine now. Mostly has to run around beating up robots so far. Right, any more pick upables? A handprint. Let's touch it. <laughs> Making everything his. The world is my oyster. Access denied. You are not yet worthy. 
That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Oh. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. This voice sounds very friendly. It was I that spoke. Oh, is that a Zonai? What? The software needed to close due to an error? What? What happened? Well, rip me. I hope there's a really good autosave system. I wonder if that's happened to anybody else so far. Clip that. <laughs> Streamer luck, right? All right, let's continue. Okay, auto saved. I did not hard save, but it's fine. I did not lose a lot of progress. Well, that's new. Scuff Inc. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a streamer first? All right, now I gotta kill this guy again. Uh oh. Give me that. Where's your shield? Give me that. Give me your shield. Where did it go? Oh, it's over there. Alright. Wait, can I still... Oh, oh no, not the sword. Oh no, I nearly broke it. Uh... Nope. What was the sh... No! Darn it. Ah, oh, there we go. Shield surfing. All right. It's still possible. I didn't even get to see the guy's face. I was just like, man, he sounds friendly. And then, whoops, game crashed. Is this like a solid snake or like a liquid snake situation where like he grafted his arm on and I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Oh, that's Raru? I thought he was an owl. Well that explains why all the robots are so knowledgeable. Manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. Oh no, he's hot. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Daddy go, bunny. <laughs> you might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. I thought they were bird people. Of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Oakley Dokley. You want to fluff his hair? But he's not real. He's just a figment of my imagination. The shrine. <laughs> so attracted the yes, game crashed. I'm sure they are the, key. the game got one look at its abs and it was like, oh, it's too hot. I'm overheating. It's a brand new Switch. I barely played anything on it. The closed door. Adventure log. Aha, okay, cool. Alright, now how do I get over there? Do I just walk? I guess I walk. Chris Hackney? Oh. Neat. Oh man, I almost took some fall damage. Ground. It begins. All right, now I need a bow. Why are there arrows around here? Are there more?
Changes appearance in Ocarina of Time to make Link more comfortable. Oh, I see a contract. <gasps> it has a bow! Give that to me. Give it! That is mine! Alright, I got some arrows too. Alright. How do I equip it? Ah, there we go. Wait, how do I cancel? Okay, there we go. Well, that explains why there were arrows around. Oh, here's another one. Where is it? Oh, it's down there. Ooh, there are sh um, rush rooms. I remember these. <laughs> He's got a bow! Everybody on the floor! Wait, can I, uh, can I snipe him? <laughs> oh, he's dead! <laughs> Arrow! Uh... <laughs> Man, I wish I could pick up that many arrows right now. Imagine if you could, like, eat arrows into the game for me. Alright, it looks like these hook things probably attach to this, but I have no way to actually do that yet. What is that? Oh wow, there's like a couple of shrines around this place. Okay. Oh, I see. I have to go in there first. Could I have dived into the ground? Hold on, I gotta try that. If I die, tell Aura I love her. Oh, wait. Okay, what's the dive button? I thought it was R. Oh, okay, that hurt. <laughs> Save first? That probably would have been a good idea. <laughs> Wait, how do I say it? Uh... Oh, it's the picture that she took in the temple. Feature not available yet. Oh, I guess I can't save. Unless it's in here. Oh, it is. Save. Alright, I saved after I broke my neck. Link is now paralyzed. Rush rooms. Alright, so, note to self, don't swan dive into solid ground. That's unhealthy. There are more productive places to swan dive. Shrine. Nice. That's a familiar tone. Aha. Wonder what happened to all the Sheikah shrines? Are they just gone now? Or can we like still go in them? I like how they use all the same sound effects. Whoa, that's cool. Wait, is it like a seamless? Okay, it's not. That would have been cool if it was like a seamless map transition.
All right, are there more places for me to swan dive in here? I mean, this guy basically is just fee, right? So, you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! I hope this isn't as long as the... Okay, it's not. Da 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 da! Which ability is this? Ultra Hand! Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Mm. Boy, I'm gonna abuse that. This is the Ultra Hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. All right. Aha! Oh, cool! It's like an ability wheel now. What can I grab? Can I grab a hot dog? Aha! It's like magnesis, but with the ab added ability to stick things together. I can rotate it too. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, it rotates in set intervals. Can I just drop it? Now, is there a cooldown on it? Ooh, apparently not. Now, how do I stick things together? Ah, attach. I did it, guys. <laughs> Did it. Alright, uh, probably not the way to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, unstick. Ah, okay. Attach. There we go. No cooldown, abuse the physics engine. Yeah. You know I'm going to. Oops. I keep thinking the right bumper is the run one. Wow, look how expansive the shrine is. It's like, like all the Sheikah shrines felt like really tightly condensed, but this is like huge and expansive. But it also means a lot more running. All right, can I grab that? Nope, wrong button. Ooh, I can grab a lot of things. Ooh, I can unstick this. That's mine now. Where can I stick this to? Can I stick this to anything fun? Ah! This thing. How do I hook it on? Wait, uh, rotate? Oops. Oops. There we go. I assume I probably have to use this. It's like a platform. Oh no! The other hook! It went over there! Alright, hold on. I should probably have built it first. Can I grab that from here? Okay, I, I, can, I can get back up. Okay, so I will, let's do it like this, attach, alright, so it looks like there's set attachment points. There's also those ball things, and I don't know what they're for, but I want to do something with them.
All right, what do these ball things do? I'm grabbing them because they're grabbable. No, oh, come on. Here we go. Gimme, gimme balls. All right, I guess they were just like decoration. I mean, the first hook was attached to one of those balls. All right. Now I get on here. And now I jump on, and off we go! Oh, and I see the little thing at the end. Is there like a treasure chest or anything? I guess not. Ooh, these pillars are cool. Oh, there's like, a uh, two of them. You have done well to reach this place. Ooh, the backwards kind of music. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. I assume I collect enough of these and my arm will be restored. Wow, what a grand effect. Neat. Oh, okay, yeah, so the corruption is disappearing from my arm. Light of Blessing. Oh, and my hearts are restored. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. I just want arrows. I assume I'm gonna be teleported out of here. Okay. Okay, loading time's not too bad. It's a ghost! You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pyrapad offers a very useful scope. It is quite handy. How do you know that? Aren't you dead? The the Pyrapad is definitely Sheikah technology, right? So how would a Zonai know about that? Oh, cool, they got six pins now. Okay, there's that one. Ah, I see one over there. Okay, are there any more? I marked that one already. Remember, his dialogue still told me all about you? Oh, okay. But isn't the Pura pad like something really, really new? I guess those. Are, oh right, he said complete two other shrines, so those are the only two. Boy, all right, gotta figure out how to get over there then. Uh, that one looks a little bit more doable, kind of. Well, I have Ultra Hand now, so. Uh. Ooh, maybe I can build a bridge across here. Aha! I think I am supposed to. Amiibos are unlocked too. Didn't mean to attach it there, but that's fine. That's good enough. That looks stable. Surely, nothing could possibly go wrong there. Alright, I really wonder, should I, should I try using an amiibo right now? St 
stuff. I got meat and stuff. No, the treasure chest. Oh, I better open that before it goes away. Mmm. Tunic of Memories fabric? Neat. Wait. Does that mean... Oh, I guess that would be for when I have the paraglider. Wait, is that in my inventory? Yeah, it is. Top fabric bearing a tunic of memories design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Okay, so I guess I make a paraglider later. Okay. That was cool. I guess that was... I think that was the Breath of the Wild. Um, I guess that's what you get for scanning the Breath of the Wild uh, amiibo. Alright, I got a lot of meat now, so I don't have to worry about dying. I should probably cook it, though. Um, Alright, how do I get across here? Can I just jump down? Is there water? Oh, I can just jump. I see a bug. Looks like a rare golden beetle or something, or at least a yellow beetle. Energetic rhino beetle. Got it. Okay. Anything else up here? I see apples and... what is that? Is that a bird? It is indeed a bird. I like the option to climb down, and I never will. Oh, the bird flew away. Some more apples, take some more shrooms. A fire! A fire pit! The goat guy! Got a zonai charge. Got some firewood. I assume I can break this. Nope. Wait. Ha! More arrows! Let's go! Alright, what's up, dude? What do you want? I see that they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they still perform it. It's quite disquieting to me. Oh, so they're like the androids in Nier. Alright, what advice do you have for me? An axe! Can I take your axe? Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Oh, pardon me, I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting is a practice of chopping down trees. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses, which is why I come here to ch daily to chop wood. And yet, I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. This is why you may have heard me mutter to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. I apologize. I must have been rambling for some time. There's an axe I no longer need over there. It's yours if you want to uh, do some woodcutting. I'll just take your wood here. Thank you. Uh, right. I guess I'll throw this away. Alright, so I can do something with these logs and ultra hand. I wonder, can I can I use this to just whack people? Like can I do this? Ooh, he's reacting to it. I need to find a soldier construct or something to whack. Oh, a raft! Neat. Can I take it apart? Oh, I can't. I guess it's just stuck like that. I assume I'll need it to get across this water. Yeah, okay, so there's a big body of water here. 
that I probably can't swim across. Oh no, it's not a body of water, it's just air. Ah, there's something up there? Oh, wait, no, that's that's not where I need to go. I need to go this way. Okay. I'll leave them be for now, because I don't really need a lot of wood. I should probably cook some more stuff, though. Maybe? I mean, I'm doing okay on health. I'll cook some more stuff later when I have a cooking pot. It'll be much more effective. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to use the wood to get across here. Ah, it is not long enough, so I do need multiple pieces of wood. Wait, wasn't there a thing about attaching stuff to weapons? Hold on. How do I attach stuff to my weapon? Like, if I... Ultra Hand a piece of wood... I guess that's an ability later that I get? Oh, wait. Attach. I did it! What did that do? Ooh, another axe! Okay, uh... Oops. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to attach weapons together. I assume it's I need some other ability to do that. Does the blue blue glow mean it can work? I don't know. Cause I can pick up the stick with the with the um with the ultra hand. I actually just got the ability? Oh okay. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out for it. I assume it's one of these other abilities that I find soon. There's another fire. More barrels and stuff. Oh, I saw a firefly! Ooh, an opal! There's some more crates here. Can I do this? Yeah! Yeah! Alright. There we go. More arrows. Ooh, I can ultra hand the pots as well. Apple. Oh, why don't I just smash it? Okay, that doesn't work. Apples and arrows. More bows! Hello, are you gonna tell me about bows? Aged in hunting. Ah, uh, Ricky. My specialty is hunting. Okay. I'll show you how to hunt. It goes like this. Oh, it's not dead! Whoops, I didn't mean to throw my axe. Come back here, you! Oh, they ran away. Darn it. I probably should have tried to headshot it or something. That probably... Oh, there it is. Come back here, you chocobo-looking creature.
Danger! Danger! That's me, I'm the danger. Man, these things are tough. Fish! Fire an arrow three times since he started. <laughs> oh no, all the fish ran away. Okay. I probably should have like shot them with arrows or something. Wait, do I have to shoot them with arrows first? Oh, okay. That's gonna be annoying. Ancient arowana. Can I not capture one live? Oh, I can, okay. I shall now proceed to pledge myself with this fish. Oh no, come back! Do I have to like, sneak up on the fish? I'm definitely going to be grinding for materials off stream, and then I'll, I'll make progress on stream. But I'll like I won't. But I won't complete any shrines or anything. Um, that looks like a Korra. I see more chocobos too. I don't really know what they were. The meat I got was very ambiguous. Da 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 da. Yep. Yaha! -ha! Not hats too. You see me? I don't know, suddenly like you could see children in the forest. Yeah, I'm familiar with the Aranara. Well, if you see Hestu, please return this to him. Great. Oh, my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. You should keep up uh, keep an eye out while you wander. <laughs> I had to. Oh, it sees me. It's looking straight at me. It's taunting me. That fish! That poor fish! It needs help! Come here! I'm gonna eat you! I did not mean to hit the attack button, I just murdered that fish. Oh no, I missed it. Got it. Thank you, that's for giving us a golden turd last game. I like how the fish actually jump out of the river, that's really cool. I feel like they did that in the last game too. I must protect myself from what? Wait, is that the hunting one? No, this is- <gasps> it's a cooking pot! My next batch will also be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm, I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. You may pose those questions to me to any construct. We will answer them as best we can. Are you interested in my cooking? No. Okay. I understand cooking. Whoops, I did not mean to talk to him again. Why is he alarmed? I didn't even pull out my weapon. Alright. Let's do a meat and a fruit. Cook. I only have three hearts right now, so... Perfect! That would fully heal me. What happens if I just cook a meat? Mmm. Boiled meat. Okay, it, it heals two versus just the one. Um, what happens if I do two meats? He was humming Saria song, and then that one was the uh, the um, what about well, like the horse stable theme? A fish. I got meat. 
Oh, wait. What happens if I use one of these and then like a chicken? Yeah, he hums like a different song every time. That's pretty cool. Ooh, nice. Speed up. Do you have more rush rooms? I only need them to heal a little bit right now. Let's make a fish. Whoa! Fish and mushroom skewer, that's an awesome recipe. Fish? Oh, that one healed a lot less. Why? Oh, I guess it's... Oh, I think one of the... Uh, one of the one of the ingredients I must have used was, was like really good or something. Uh, how about if I cook two of these? Okay, okay. So cooking basically doubles the rep, the um, the effect. How about two mushrooms? Fish had a hearty attribute. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I think that was one of the fish I got from the chest. Oh, okay. This one doesn't heal as much, but it gives the speed up. What if I do a bunch of these? Because a bunch of these only heal a quarter each, so if I hold five of them, ideally they should heal more than two and a half hearts. It heals two and a half hearts. Alright, so just ingredients by themselves is not very effective. Oh, that was the Zelda theme. Two and a half hearts again. Okay. But that one gave attack up? Oh, because of the fish I used. How many meals do I have? How many meals can I hold? A lot, I guess. Alright, uh, oh wait. Did I try this yet? <laughs> I will feel theme. Okay, fruit and mushroom mix. Alright. Hold, hold, hold. It seems to be the same cooking system as before. I heard somebody also say there was like a cooking log now or something. I think Aura said that. Alright. Well, that's good enough for now. Boxes. More Zonai charges. More arrows! Come on. Man, that entire crate for just one arrow? It seems like a waste of space. Ooh, what is this? I don't know, but there's more rush rooms up here. Alright, I don't have the glider yet still. Boy, rush rooms are annoying to farm. More fish. I assume once I get like bombs or something, this fishing will be a lot easier. Oh, more rush rooms. I'm not gonna bother. Uh, ooh, what is this? Can I do something with this? I can. Ooh, there's like whole platforms here. Wait, hold on. Can I? Grab it while I'm standing up. I can, but I can't move it. What if? Okay, okay, what if? I'm, I'm gonna try to abuse here. Uh, attach. What if I stand on this platform and then grab this platform? Nope. <laughs> it wasn't gonna be that easy.
surely I could probably just like take this all the way to like the sky or something. There doesn't seem to be a limit to how high these things will go. Come on. There we go. Wait, is there a limit? Let's see. Put that there. Oops. Climb this. Climb this. Can I not reach it anymore? Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I almost fell to my death. That would have been an unfortunate way to go. I really wonder how high this can go. Is there a limit? There does not appear to be. Welcome home, Moonred. I'm just trying to abuse the physics system right now. Wait a second. This one plat the one platform moved the other one. There's a third one down there as well. Wait, why can't this move anymore? Is it stuck? Oh, it was stuck. I didn't want to attach it. I wanted to just cancel. Cancel movement. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's, it's like really f just out of reach. Amiibo support. Yeah. It's like in the last game. Ooh, that was close. Luckily, Link is such a skilled climber. Yeah, there does not appear to be a limit to this. Ah, okay, I'm supposed to go over there. This is probably like a really inefficient way to move across the map, but it would be doable. Alright, if I jump now, I'm gonna die. I have gotten myself into a pickle. If I can get over to that body of water, I can at least jump down safely. Oh no! Oh no! Alright then. That will only be an issue for speedrunners. I, I am already imagining the possibilities that speedrunners have already found. Okay, so I'm just back at the Korok. I didn't really lose much, did I? I think I lost some fish and some stuff. Wait! All my meals. No! My meals! Alright, I gotta recook stuff. Come here, you. Alright. You need to cook. Alright. Uh, Alright, I, I just need a couple of things to keep me healed up right now. Alright, so that's the hearty salmon. I don't really need to cook that right now. That's why we save. I know. <laughs> Select inventory and then check recipe. Ah, okay. Select for recipe. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you can repeat recipes like that. Pretty good. It's gonna make a bunch of meat and mushroom dishes. Alright, let's not mess with those platforms again. They didn't really lead anywhere anyway. 
Oh, that gave me attack up. That's nice. I guess I don't really need to heal like full three hearts because if I need to heal a uh, full three hearts, I'm already dead. I guess I'll save my rush runes for later. All right, this should be good, at least for now. All right, I don't remember what else I lost. Oh wait, there were some arrows out here, I think. Yeah. Whoops, didn't mean to break it with my axe, but whatever. So I charge. Alright, let's get back to the main main course. Nailed it! That's how you do it. I got two pieces of meat out of that. Oh! Not a chance. Oh, there's one more somewhere. Where? where oh, up there. Aha, you think you're so clever, do you? Not so clever now, are you? What is this? I hope it's something good. I hope it's another bow. Good too. <laughs> Look, I had to use a bow on this guy. There was no other way to get to him besides maybe climbing up here. Ooh, what is this? A stem bulb! There are more of those? I assume th I assume they work like stamella mushrooms or something. And oh, there was a ladder here. I probably could have just walked up here. Oh, Yosh. With an arrow fired, several arrows were fired. All right. Um, it looks like I have to head over there. I have to do that. Over here. Oh, I see another, I see another construct. Oh, okay. Gotta consider the arc. Okay. Ooh, what is that? A thick stick! Uh... So I can throw this away. Wait, I don't want to have the stick equipped. Oh, what, why are these axes glowing? Thick stick. <laughs> so many classifications for sticks. More little sticks. Ooh, more axes. All right. Oh, there's uh, more of these uh, Zonai statues. Can you imagine if like stuff was modeled after your ears? Oh! A sail! Aha! 
I see what I must do. Oh, it's another thick. Oh no, it's another. It's a big, a two-handed, two stone, two-handed axe. Choo choo jelly. I keep hearing that chime, but I'm not sure where it's coming from. Alright, uh, let's drop another one of these. But has the Master Sword really not recovered yet? I've been playing for like an hour. I probably shouldn't have broken it. Ooh, there's two sails here. I probably have to cut down more trees too. You didn't pick it up to smash it. <laughs> Good on you for not doing the classic Link Pot Smash. You know what, sometimes it's just more expedient to use your axe. At this point, I'm already finding like so many weapons and stuff anyway. Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to attach it like that. I rotate this. Alright, this is just awkward. Let me just put it down. Oh, I see. The wind is blowing quite fiercely. Okay. I know I only have two logs here, but you know what? That might be all I need. In fact, I probably only need one log, really. I will put two sails, though. Can I put one sail on top of the other? Let's go! <laughs> it's so unstable! Oh no! It's fallen! Alright, I'll cut down some more trees. Ooh! Korok fronds! Alright, maybe it is worth cutting down some more trees. Is there another... Oh. It's also getting nighttime. Oh, I thought that Choo Choo was gonna um, get smashed. Whoops, I smashed that into wood. Did not mean to do that. Oh no! Smashed the Choo Choo jellies. Alright, let's add just a couple more logs for stability. That's the wrong button. Oh boy, how do I... Ah, okay, that's how we move it. Alright, it's a little unorthodox. But trust me. Fireflies. Can I pick these up? Surely. Oh, I probably have to sneak up to it. They're probably all flying away already. I saw one that looked like you could actually be picked up. It looks like the rest are just like light effects. Okay, anyway. Chop, we chop, chop! Get some more. I saw a grasshopper! It's already gone. Oh, there's the grasshopper! Darn it. No, 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 come back! Alright, they're, they're all over the grass. Oh, there's one. I will get you yet, grasshopper. Restless Cricket. Uh, I got one. Wow, this axe has great durability while chopping down trees. Alright. 
Okay, surely that's stable enough, right? Let's go try it out. Alright. Maybe it's a little wide. No need to discriminate. Okay. Oh, okay. We're off on an adventure. I have no way of steering this. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, weapons. Whoops. Wrong button. That's the shield button. That's the weapons button. Ah, uh, I guess we'll just put on a wooden stick for now. Oh, it's gonna hit that thing and I have no way to control it. Okay. Man, look at all that sticky stuff. Okay, it's probably good. Look, those fireflies I think you can catch. Yeah, that looks like an actual catchable entity. I see crickets too. I catch it. Aha! Sunset Firefly. Don't mind me. Just catching. Oh! You stupid choo choo! Squeeze your eyeballs to make jam. here, and the shrine is up there. With more fireflies. Uh, I think that's just a particle effect. See more mushrooms. Oh, I see a... Uh... Oh, I hit it. Luckily, those things go down easy. Ooh, a thick stick. Ooh, and more arrows. I'm almost out of... Oh, I'm out of regular sticks. Right, let's try this spear. It's good. Oh, there's more of them. Alright. There's fireflies, too, but they're all getting scared away. Wow, that arrow does not... that arrow drops down real fast. Yeah, that's one. No. Alright, this stick is awful. This does a lot more damage, but... Ah! It's so slow. Alright, the upsides don't really outweigh the downsides. Pretty sure the meta is nice, fast weapons. I assume once I can attach stuff to weapons that I'll be able to do a lot more. What is that? Is that a... That's not a regular stick. That's a combined weapon! Oops, not that one. Board Guster. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Oh, get out of the way, get out of the way! Oh. 
Alright, these small sticks are definitely where it's at. Oi! Oh, I'm like stuck in the water. I got more sticks where that came from. Alright, yeah, the big weapons are really slow. Is that all of them? Wait, is that a cave or something? Okay, I should probably do the shrine first and then I'll explore some more. I got I got sidetracked. There's doors and stuff here that I can attach together. I look forward to being able to like attach stuff to my shield to make them better. Shrine. Oh, okay, so the, the little parallax part here is always the same. So it's just a, a neat little, uh, probably a 2D effect. I assume the door is not really 3D, and it's, it's a 2D effect, or it's like a projection effect. All right, what's up, Ramu? What's this on his name? <laughs> oh. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Ooh. A sword? Is this the combined weapon um, rune? Fuse! Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the infusion, but that will destroy whatever's been attached. Mm. Okay. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and fuse it to a nearby object? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from the shrine. Okay, or how about I fuse it to my stick? The ability to combine. Alright. Rusty Claymore. Ah. Use it to my stick. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah. Oh, I see. What? 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 That's a really weird um, placement um, for the. Uh... Wait, where's my where's my board and door? Whatever. All right, so I should probably get this sword rather than yeah. this. Wait, uh, let's fuse the boulder with, um, this. Oops. <laughs> Items fuse are detachable via your inventory. Alright, how about, whoops, how about I fuse with my shield? Oops, wrong button. There we go. Let's go, dual wielding rocks! I assume I have to use that to get through this. Ah, okay. Big, heavy objects plus rock make hammer. Me understand. Me smarter than caveman. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna destroy this temple. 
I mean, you gave me this ability. Don't don't blame me. Ooh, there's like berries or something here. Fire fruit. I assume I have to like attach something. Ah, I have to attach the. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. No! Okay, attach stuff to arrows. Aha! I'm gonna need to plant those fire fruits. What do I? Why did I need to do that? Wait, there's nothing to shoot here, is there? Ah, that. Aha. Power's gonna get to his head. I'm gonna fuse every single object. A small key. Can I fuse this to something? Oh, I was gonna try to fuse the chest, but uh, you can't. Can I fuse with this chest? Nope. Fuse the key to a sword. I'll make a keyblade. Okay, what's in here? Oh, constructs! Oh, they can fuse two! Two can play at this game! Where's my rock on a stick? Boulder hammer. Can I fuse stuff to the boulder hammer? Hold on. Ah, hold on, let me eat first. No, 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 hold on. Oh boy, this thing is tough. Fuse it, boulder hammer. Already has been fused, okay. Good to know. Wait, is that about oh, it has a bow as well. I see more fire fruit. Oh, what is it gonna do? Oh no! Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I'm being a little... Unnecessarily... Oh no, my bow broke. Ah! Uh, yeah, heavy weapons are not the way to go. Ooh, a construct bow! Nice. And a wooden stick. Construct Captain Horn. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh wait, no, I still need that. For probably some uh, problem solving. I don't know if I necessarily need a rusty claymore. Two-handed stone axe. Alright, can I... Fuse. Okay. Fuse has already been used on this item. Oh, is the stone axe itself a fusion? Oh, it's a fusion of a stick! Ah! Oh! Hello, Tenchi. Um, okay, so I see the stone axe itself is a fusion of a stick and a rock. Okay. Oh, that's what that outline means. That means that it's fused. Okay. Alright, uh, wait. Let's, how, how do we unfuse? Uh, like, say I wanted to unfuse this. Do I have to do it from the menu? Welcome to everyone who's playing Breath of the Wild 2 Club. Yeah, I know. Boulder Shield. 
It's not even that much better than a regular shield. It's just huge. Uh... Ah, destroy fused material. Okay. You know what? I don't need to do that right now. That's sad. I probably don't need this many axes. Let's do that. Use with rock. And now I have a rock hammer. Does six, I think. No, five. So it's just like the axe. But it's a hammer. Check the map, goof. I will. Thank you. Okay. Um, I guess if I'm stuck with this, then the uh, the sword would probably be better. Oh, this is the sword that the thing was using. Oh, I have another boulder hammer anyway. Oh no, this is the one-handed one. That's okay, I'm done with this dungeon. Reject this save. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I saved. Alright, we've done well to reach this place. Is it going to be the same every time? Can I skip this? Light of Blessing. Hooray. I assume the third ability is either going to be like the uh, the dive through walls thing, or maybe a glider. All right, Link. I came because there's something I failed to give you. Please take it. Is that ammo? What is that? Energy cell. A gift from Zonai Construct, designed to be worn on a belt and can be power Zonai devices. What I have given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because, because there are no Zonai devices right here. Great. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. I can They can teach you how to use this. Alright, well I was going there anyway. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. But first... Yosh! More arrows. More sticks. Don't need any more sticks, I guess. All right. Still can't paraglide. I'm sorry, bird. Your meat is too delicious. Hmm, wait, do I have any uh, spare weapons? I do have this claymore. Fuse! Now I have a log claymore. I think I killed all the constructs down here already. Out of the Glock. That's what I thought it looked like like a, a gun mag or something. Ooh, there's a cooking pot over here as well as a treasure chest. How did I not notice this before? Soldier Reaper. Uh, I guess. I guess I can drop this. I don't really need this. 
Oh, that's really nice that um, they gave you an option to just switch out weapons in the chest inventory rather than um, rather than having to um, rather than having to close the chest, drop an item, and then open the chest again. It's really nice quality of life. Meat and seafood fry. I definitely need to cook more food because they get a lot of damage. Can I attach a fish to my arrow, and what will that do? Fish and mushroom skewer. I should be okay for a little bit. All right. Whoops. I cannot attach a fish. I can attach meat, though. I don't know what this does. It gives plus one damage, apparently. I'll figure out what that does on the next. Discovery, Pondside Cave. Bright Bloom Seed. Neat. Pieces. Peace wings. Peace eyeballs. There's some ore there. I assume I need the hammer for this. Lint. Rock salt. What is that? It's like a frog? I can't shoot it. Come here, you. Oh, it looks like one of those, like, um, those things that drop rupees. Did I kill it? Ooh. Bubble gem. Bubble frogs. I couldn't hit it with arrows. It seems very elusive. Giant bright bloom seed. A tunic! Finally! I got a shirt! That's not the inventory button. Nice! Now I look fabulous! Surely there's more in this cave to explore. Oh no! I destroyed that flint! Behind Zelda and have her wear. I guess the arrows that didn't hit anything I can pick back up. See another giant bright bloom seed. Oh, an ore. More amber. Is this where I came from? Oh, I see. This is where I was going. More constructs, or are those friendly? Those look like the friendly ones. Ah, Zonai machines. Oh, and he's just sitting here. Hello, Raru. Mm. The steward's constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted other suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, we find all sorts of them still active. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed them. We began to learn from them instead. We should take aim to talk to them. 
can, they can teach you many things you might not know yet. Oh, I see, that's a one-handed sword. Lots of arrows. It's good because that's how I'm using a lot of them. Ah, wood. Oh, the wood came from the 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 thing on my stick on my sword breaking. Alright, what's up dudes? These rivers, they're dangerous. Maybe beyond repair. Okay. Can I attach those motor things to my sword? Ah! We may have needed these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. Alright, I'll attach this one to my sword. Aha! I have a fan plate more! Oh, whoa, okay. So it actually does stuff. Neat. I probably shouldn't have done this. Alright, um... Alright, I am supposed to go over there. I think. Oh, there's like a lot more platform stuff over here. Fan gusters, badly damaged. Oh, wait, what happens if this breaks? Will the, will the fan part just... Yep, it's gone. I assume there's something uh, across this river. Is that a chest or something? It looks like just a cooking pot. It looks like progress, I guess. I wonder what these are. Okay, these are more of those platform things that I was messing with earlier. You know what, let's save. these lead? I think they lead up there. Do I need to go up there right now? I don't know. Have I been up there? Hold on. Pondside Cave. I guess not? I don't know. I don't have full capacity to explore right now, so I'm just gonna build the speedboat. Oh, okay. Oh, these guys, these guys need these parts. I did accidentally destroy one of the fans, so I feel a little bad about that. <clears throat> I think there were still two fans. Maybe that's enough. I assume this is the outwards, um, the outwards output, I guess. Outward thrust. Where's that other fan? Ah, oh, there it is. I did not mean to throw my stone axe. Actually use these. <laughs> Excuse me. I 
Like, do I have to, like... Unstick, cancel, move forward or backwards? Nope. Uh... Alright, let me talk to these guys, maybe... These rafts are for... The, the rafts are crossing to the other side of Broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This is only where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Seems you don't know of Zonai devices. There are necessities around here. This green thing is called the Zonai device. The one you have... See, here is a fan. You can produce wind on it. Oh, by striking it. They are ev self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multi multitudinous purposes. Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one. That's relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zonai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely, otherwise you may run out at inopportune moments. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for the raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think uh, creatively and you'll find many ways to employ them. Alright. I want to try something though. Can I use these platforms? Will the game allow me to? Oh! Oh, that was close. I see a catchable firefly. Got it. Yo, dudes, I found the problem. I uh, found the solution to your problem. You don't need a, uh, you don't need a raft. You just need this. I mean, that would work, right? I would just get you right across the water. I do it without the raft. Or I should probably do it as the game intended. Where did I build my raft? Where did it go? It was right here. Did you guys destroy my raft? Did I put it in the water already? Where is it? Did I squish it with this thing? Where the heck did my raft go? Oh, there it is. How'd it drift all the way over there? Currents, probably. This thing is movable. Can I attach the fans to this thing and then just fly with it? Alright. Move it by striking them. Whoops! I had my axe out and I annihilated that wooden thing. I dropped that fan in the water. Is it possible to get it back? Oh, okay. Where'd it go? Do I have anything non-destructive? I got a soldier reaper. Oh, I got a board guster. Can I just do this? Okay, I, don't, I still don't have a way of steering this. Okay. I hope that's not taking out my weapon durability either. A simple smack? I don't have anything simple to smack it with is the problem. Oh, I see. Okay, so the uh, the fan drifted over there. 
How am I supposed to get that? Can I reach it from here? Oh, I can reach it from here, okay. <laughs> Might do the boat in sunshine, yeah. Okay. I guess in theory I just need the two. I mean, in theory I just need the one, but probably two is better for stability. I think I, yeah, I attached that in a really awkward way. I wanted to attach the wood. Oh wait, what if I did it like this? So that I have more stability. I'll put this one on. This side, I think I put the other one backwards. I did. There we go. That looks like a perfect vehicle. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, I see. It hits both of them at once. Yeah, I did it. Are those mushrooms or are they bats? They are mushrooms. Ooh, more uh, stem bulbs. This guy was sleeping. Are you going this direction? It's very late to be traveling. Mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I've developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Sure, let's hear them. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used to either cook or warm yourself. Okay. Don't worry if you need to hear the explanations, I'll provide them. Okili dokili. Ah, this guy has flint. Oh, there's stamella shrooms here as well. What are the stam bulbs for? I guess they're a vegetable rather than a um, than a mushroom. This looks like I can smash it. Oh, wait, where's my big boulder? I guess this is... Oh, wait, this one. Is it? Ah, good enough. Oh, I'm damaging my, my rocks. Oops. Got it. Nailed it. Ooh. Dun 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 dun. Yeah. Yeah, ha ha! And there's another broken down Zonai's down here. Oh, okay. Zonai charge. They refi they re the refill the batteries. Cool. Two fuse attack power. Wait, I can fuse the Zonai charges with stuff? Wait, does everything in my inventory have like a fuse attack power? Look at Link with his two boulders. Oh, it does! Okay. So this one has three fuse attack power. This one has five fuse attack power. This one has four. Ah, I see. That's why the amber is shaped like that. Arrows and thrown weapons fly further when this weapon is or this is attached. 
Okay. World feels just as expensive as the last one. That one had a lot of jelly. Some frog. Got it. Now get away from me, hot footed frog. Wait, can I shield surf while I have a boulder on my... Oh, the boulder gets smaller when it's on my back. If you shield surf with a... If you shield with something, you'll get in the way, you'll fall. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, there's more of those things. Oh, and I see like a bow or something. Oops, I didn't mean to attach that. What does attaching a choo-choo jelly do? Will it make it like sticky? Oh, should I be using... I'll use the wooden bow for now. I can attach wood to it. I can attach zonite charges. Attach those horn things. Okay. I don't need attachments. Oh boy. Got a rusty shield. Ah! Oh man. Okay. He does not give up easily. Oh, I got attack power up on accident. Oops! Got another construct bow. Really cool design. Oh, am I out of bow space already? Alright, drop that. Barrel Club. Right, I need to be way more strategic in battling. Those things are tough. Does that bell ringing mean like a certain time has passed or something? Okay, got some opal. Or does that just mean that something is nearby? That's Rusty Broadsword. Ah, there's minecarts here. Can I fuse those with anything? I can! onto the track. Will that work? I hope so. Yeah, three of them. Might as well use them all. See more stuff on the tracks up ahead too. Don't worry about that when we get there. All right, that looks like a machine. I think I just have to whack one of them, and it should hit all three of them. 
Oh, wait. Okay, well, see you later. I gotta collect items. You never know when you'll need them. I'm thinking I was supposed to go in here with the minecart. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh. Oops. Let me attach. Or let me do those shields and then. Fuse. I can fuse the minecart to my shield? Alright. Can I fuse an item for my... Oh, wait, I think if I put it on the ground, maybe. So I'm thinking... I don't think this is going to work. Oh, I probably should have attached things to the minecart, like the... Uh, um, is it the glow? These things. Hold. Drop. Now, if I fuse that to my shield, will it glow? Or am I just screwed? I don't think it's glowing brightly enough. Nope. There are like glow shrooms in here. Okay, well it hit a wall anyway. This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed uh, to the minus side. Do you have any bright blooms? I do. What a relief. You sh uh, you would not otherwise be able to see anything as you proceed. Bright bloom seeds glow primarily in caves. There was a time once when they grew here as well. This cave has been mostly picked clean of them. It's because it's especially dark the seeds were often necessary. My associates often forgot to bring bright bloom seeds. I'm posted here to provide a friendly reminder. Use them to light your way if you are proceeding ahead. Watch your step. Well, I did already attach one to my shield. Oh, this one can't be taken, I guess. Do I have to attach it to my sword? I can't see anything. It's spooky in here. Is that some ore? Oh. Zonanite. Zonite. Zonite. Okay, cool. Alright, this thing is supposed to light my way, but it is not. Oh, it's another one of those things. I need it. But I can't see anything. Can I attach, like, a glow berry thing to this? Like, what happens if I do this? Come here, come here. Bubble jam. Oh, it, there was it, uh, one of those little rupee creatures as well. Oh, the, zon the Zonite um, is its own, like, currency in the inventory, I think. Or it's just at the top. Or is that for any item I collect? Okay, well, it's bright enough in here suddenly. I shot a thing. I guess it was, like, covering it up. The, the bubble light or whatever. Bubble frog. Is there like another shroom thing I can light up here? Oh, 
I'm gonna need to make some more rock hammers soon. You there. Oh, he has a bunch of Zona Knight. I'm just gonna take these. Excuse me! That Zona Knight is already slated for processing. It would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. I don't know what you're talking about. You are unfamiliar? This is Zona I mentioned. It is a unique material that can be mined beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island. They are very limited. They are limited to this cave. Our study flourished by processing the substance into other material. Zonite is processed by smelting in a furnace, converted into materials with useful properties. <laughs> Let's just do a Jenkin all for most game mechanics. Yeah. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. One moment. Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sorts of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonai technology is typically powered by Zonai charges. Uh, these occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting Zonai into other useful process materials uh, into useful materials this way is called processing. Thanks. Please visit anytime you require processed materials. Alright. Give me some. Uh process. Oh, I thought he would have, like, an actual shop. Is that it? Okay, uh, can I just take these? Oh, I see, okay. Fragment of crystal made from condensing zone charges. This has been used for cell energy improvement. So, can I just exchange one? How many do you require? Uh, I'll take one. Three pieces, sure. Okay, so it is its own currency. Hello, Tapo. I'll process the zonite later. The resulting materials will be available to you once the processing is complete. Oh, okay, so I can only buy ten at a time. I don't really need zonite charges right now. I don't know what these do yet, though. Also, I gotta figure out how to light up this cave. Gradually yielding less and less. Don't mind me. If it only spawns in this cave, do I just need to like keep coming back in order to uh, farm these? How am I? I'm good. I'm enjoying the game so far. What is that? I have not given permission to take those. Could it be? You have forgotten the Zonai capsules? I have for you may you have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It's unfortunate you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spare parts. Nice. The ones I give you are fans. You can deploy them anytime. They will generate wind when struck. So my devices are useful and come in many varieties. Always carry several with me for any occasion. I neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Okay, so they're one-time use items. Alright, surely there must be a way to light up this area, right? The glow bulb will only light up so much. You got the Collector's Edition Pro Controller Amiibo? Nice! Awesome! That's that's awesome, Tapo. I hope you enjoy that. We only got the Standard Edition. We got the pre-order bonus. Alright, well, as dark as that cave is... Oh, I need a cart. All right, I guess I have to go find a cart. Oh, there's a cart. There's rocks here. Ooh, 
Do I have to like fuse a glowberry thing with my sword in order to light things up? Because the shield does not seem to be doing much. Do I have a spare sword that I can fuse stuff with? Got the art frame from Best Buy. Oh, nice. We uh, got pre-ordered from GameStop, so um, uh, we just got the plaque, the wood plaque, which is nice. All right, let's see. Uh, hold. Do I just have to hold this? Let's see. It does not seem to be emitting much light. This is also not emitting much light. What is the point? I'm just wasting glow powder or whatever. Alright. Alright, obviously I need the Zonai fans to get out of here. But... Instead of using these ones, what if I just went to get the cart that I uh, that I made earlier? You get Majora's Mask Amiibo? Nice! Ooh, another wooden stick. How did I light up this entire cave? There's like a glow flower thing up there. Do I have to, like, find another one and plant it in the ground or something? Wait, is there whistling in this game? There is. Is there sprint whistling? Nope, I think they fixed it. <laughs> Come on. Almost gonna buy it next time? Nice! Well, I hope if you get it that you enjoy it. Alright, it's gonna be a bit of a walk, but it's fine. I can save those, uh, the capsules for later. And this isn't a bad way to light the cave. Seems a little bit more effective than what I was doing before. This time I won't jump off. There's water there. Okie dokie. Let's get going. Oh! That's how you use it! Okay. Well, that's useful. I wish I figured that out like 10 minutes ago. Well, now, now this cart has a nice pretty flower on it. Hi, I made it. Can I, like, get this back or not? I guess it's just stuck there now. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning evening. Ah, that's what that sound was. Took you a figure, I will have to figure it out too. Ah, I should have been experimenting more. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell when we heard it in the evening. We knew it was time to rest. Mm. They also played part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sound of the temple and the sound of its bell stirred fond memories in me. Great tutorial. What happens if I smash my shield on the ground? Will it like also release the um, seed? Oops. <laughs> It will! Okay, great. I figured that out. Give me more arrows. Yum, 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 yum. Am I gonna, like, have a way to capsulize items in the near future? I hope so. I'm just gonna capsulize everything. Ooh, what is that? This looks like a straight-up gacha machine. This is, isn't it? Hello! Device dispenser. Operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai's capsule production strategy. 
You want to use the device dispenser? Um, uh, yes. You don't sneeze any time. You only need to feed the requisite materials. How do I feed it the requisite materials? Do I have to go on like this side? Okay. Um, can I not use it yet? It said it was ready. Alright, maybe I have to go through this dialogue. Device dispenser. Zonai capsules. Okay. Okay, well, he's just explaining things. How do I actually insert something? Do I- oh, do I have to, like, actually take it out? Like, uh... What's- what's the prerequisite material? Zonai capsules are portable. Device can be put back in its capsule. More capsules are always available at the device dispenser. Converting spare resources into zone capsule ensures you always have a few. Oh, okay. So, wait. So if I just, uh, like, uh, if I pick this up and then put this in here, is that how I, like, capsulize it? Your behavior is a threat. Okay, that's not how I do it. Oh, do I do it like this? Drop. Nope. How's my day? It's alright. It's going alright. Alright, nope, this isn't the way to do it. How do I make a capsule? Give me capsule! He didn't explain how to actually make the capsule. Did he? Did I just go too fast? Someone spoil me. Wait, what are you? You're not a robot. Oh, it's a Korok. This is awful, my friend. You can see me? I'm a Korok. Travel with my friend, but we got separated. Ah, he's over there. My friend is setting up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. So tired, can't move. Can I ultra hand you? I can. Alright, buddy, you're going with me. What happens if I drop him off the edge? Like, is that a thing I can do? I'll get you to your friend! Can I? Is this, is this far enough? Okay, he's okay. <laughs> Someone donate him to do it? Oh, to drop him? Wait, what happens if I just... Does he just respawn? Okay, he does! Alright, I gotta figure out how to make a capsule. But I guess for now, we can just... <laughs> Murdering the leaf people. They didn't murder them, they come right back. Also, they're imaginary. Nobody else can see them. To, to everybody else, it looks like I just did nothing. Alright, buddy. I could do the dignified thing and, uh... And, like, put you in the cart. But I'm just going to attach you to the cart. Don't worry, buddy. You're safer that way. I promise. Let's go. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Alright, ride's over. There's my friend. Good news! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that. Reunited at last! Thanks! I'll give you something, but here's all I have. Hey, two Korok seeds! Nice! Okay, so that counted as two Koroks. They're just hanging out, that's pretty cool. Ooh, 
a treasure chest. Ooh, nice, a Zona Knight. I assume I'm gonna be able to find those everywhere. Stone Axe is damaged, that's boind. More fans here. More mine cards, these hook things. Hmm. Ah, okay. There's another track here. Okay, it looked like it was obscured by the tree, but it's not. More more mine cards here. Oh, it's broken. Well, ain't that some shit. Uh, do I have to, like, fix it with the, the hooks or something? Oh, wait. If the one track is broken, I'll just use the other side. Alright, uh... this. No, it's off-center. It's gonna be unbalanced. Apparently there's a pretty robust physics system in this game. Okay, that wasn't intentional, but you know what? That kind of works. Oh, that's also off-center. I don't have OCD, but... I expect them to, like, idiot-proof it a little bit. Okay. Is that gonna be stable enough? Can I even climb in there? I can. I guess we'll try it out. Well, I mean, it worked. Abuse the jank engine. <laughs> I will. This thing just seems ripe for abuse. Nice. More Zonai charges. Felt like such a genius when you figured it out. It would be, that's pretty clever. Alright, it's gonna be hard to make some more stone axes, I think. That's oh, right. When it breaks, it breaks. Give me some more Zonai charges. Or is it Zanai? I think I think they said in the beginning Zonai. Oh, portable pot. It lasts for cooking one recipe. Great. A pot that's only good for one use. Might as well just have like a paper plate. Wait, do they make paper pots? Surely. Oh, so many fireflies here. Save? Okay. Oh, more apples. I want these fireflies for later. I don't know what for. Maybe I can attach a firefly to my sword and then um, have it glow. Alright. Oh, right. I was heading for the shrine. I totally lost sight of what I was supposed to be doing. It's all the way up there. How am I supposed to get all the way up there? Where am I? Also, I see something threatening over there, and I want to fight it. Okay, there's water down here, so I can just alley-oop. Ooh, what is that? Is that... Oh, it's another maid robot. And more of these fire things. Oh, they're the chili peppers. Yum, yum, yum. D 
Discovery. Pit Cave. Hello. That snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? I'm all set. Excellent. The cold can be fatal for the unprepared. Good thing I'm not unprepared. The splash effect when you land in the water. It's really bad. It's like a, like a short rain. Ooh. This looks like a job for rock hammer. Oh, whoa, look at all these glow berries. And what do we have here? Some more amber. Amber seems like a really expensive thing to fire off the tip of your arrow. Maybe that's just me. Wait, where's my rock shield? How do I change my shield? Whoops. Ah, like that. Okay, that sets my arrow. That's my horse. Okay. I don't know what I'm using my rock shield for. I don't think it even, like, whoops. I think the rock gives me more protection, does it? All it does is make me trip and fall when I try to um, shield surf. Okay, this goes further down. Whoops. Another one of those things. Are you dead yet? Yeah, he's dead. Drop down here. Oh, I'm back down here. Okay. I've definitely already lost track, and it seems like so has everybody else. For how many arrows I've fired already. There's like a stat in game that's keeping track of that. Oh, I probably should have cooked some warm dishes. Oh no, I'm dying. I'm dying of hypothermia. Alright, let's cook a bunch of warm dishes. Alright, so definitely want to have some of this. And then, what do we have a lot of? Mushrooms. No, I don't need to fuse them with rush runes. Maybe it's time to use another amiibo. Uh, oh, I can't use it here? More mushrooms. I wonder how many you can use in a day. If it's anything like Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild, it's probably like 20. More mushrooms. Ooh, chill shrooms. The opposite of what I need right now. Do I only get the, like, the one chest? Only one way to find out? Alright. Fish! Oh, and a chest. Oh, that chest is about to smash those fish. I wonder if I released the fish into the water if they would still be alive. Because look, they're still like swimming, or they're still, um, like floundering. Zora Champion Fabric. It's...
Hydro melons. All oh, right, finally some meat. Ooh, plants. I wonder if any of these amiibos will give me arrows. Hyrule Princess Fabric, nice. Too bad I can't magnesis these uh these chests, but cobblin fabric. Getting all the fabrics. More meat and arrows, Yosh. Oh, give it to me in crates, huh? Oops. Just arrows, that's fine. More. Oh, spicy peppers, perfect, I need those. More fish. Some hearty bass. Mighty carp. Blue nightshade. Pumpkin. And amber. Nice. Oh, I see it's 7 a.m. in game time. Oh, some more arrows. I definitely won't be short on supplies. Now I know how those raining fish toys came from. Someone using amiibos? Yeah. Pixel fabric. Nice. Boy, I can't wait to actually get the wind glider. Oh, my axe broke. Wait, was there even anything in that chest? Or the, the, the crate? The barrel? Got some arrows. Alright, Moonred, have a good night. And I uh, hope you have a, uh, a good day at work um, when you get up. Mmm, meat. More veggies. Ooh, what do we get this time? Another amber. Okay, I'll take it. Arrows. More arrows. I'm just littering the landscape with chests. Wheat lotus seeds. Okay. This amiibo can't be used again today. Alright. I think I'm out of amiibos. Alright, that's, that's a good start. Let's cook some stuff. Alright, we got plenty of stuff now. Let's make some spicy dishes. Man, Aura and I had a, a jalapeno and pepperoni pizza for dinner. It was real good. Uh, okay, I got a lot of these chucks of meat, so that should be good. Make some spicy meat dishes. A spicy meatballs. <laughs> the amiibos do we have? Enough. Mostly smash amiibos. <laughs> Wait, is it actually providing? Cold resistance? Okay, it is. Only for three minutes, though. I feel like I'm... Wait, alright. What happens if I um, put more peppers in? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so it does increase... What happens if I just make these out of five peppers? Did I just waste peppers? Okay, 13 or uh, 12 minutes of uh, cold resist. You know what? Let's do that again. Um, that's probably good for cold resistance, at least. All right, let's go. Hopefully, I won't be spending more than 30 minutes in the cold. And I've been streaming for three hours and I haven't even gotten um, all three shrines yet. Just been goofing around. Let's eat some cold dishes. Yum, 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 yum. Alright, uh, I guess we'll try to at least be a little bit more expedient about heading towards that shrine. Ah! White chew jellies. Wait, is this, a, is this gonna be a thing? Like, if I drop the chew jellies here... Drop. Drop. Will they turn... Quickly take out materials. Oh, okay. That's what this menu's for. Neat. <clears throat> no, I guess they have to be hit by an actual ice attack to be converted into different jellies. Alright, what's up? Don't talk too long. I only have 13 minutes before I die. Uh, soldier contracts and captain contracts are only are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. It was necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm sorry, terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Ah, don't worry about it. I've only died a few times, and it wasn't even to the soldiers. Oh, I think I died to it once. Ah, that's the soldiers he's talking about. All right, what should we try attaching? You have the Pearl Maria Amiibos, you want the Kai Marie? We'll get those. I can attach these? Uh, when I have four excess of them, I will try that. I don't want to attach a Zonite, that would be a waste. I got a lot of these, I guess. Oh! Go, go, go! Flurry rush it! Look, firing arrows is one of the best ways to sneak up on your opponents. That's a thick stick. I don't really even want that. Oh, it's a sharp it's a sharp rock. I can use that to make another axe. Ha! Wait, what happens if I put one of like those sharp rocks at the end of uh the end of a, a, a long stick. Oh, what is that? Oops. A stone halberd. Post a pick quick of uh, in Discord of your amiibos. All right. I mean, you know, it's not a contest or anything. 
Oh, right, I have cold resistance. I gotta not goof around. Boy, the snow is bright. Oh, there's more constructs. What is that? It's like a long boy. Oh, it's a captain! Uh, oh, I should eat. I'm trying not to knock it off. Like, oh! No, 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 no. That's mine. The raw materials? Alright, hold on. I gotta find a better weapon. This will do. The Soldier Reaper. Oh, no! Oh, it's a sword! Neat. Oh, it's a wooden stick plus the Soldier Constructs horn. Oh! Neat. Alright, I gotta throw away a bow. I wish I could see the durability on these things. Can I not drop this? Okay. Oh, more spicy peppers. Oh, is it warmer in here? Bottomless cave. Bomb flowers? Oh, I can make bomb arrows. What is that? <gasps> Ew. No, come back here. Okay. I need to make another stone hammer. Am I supposed to be here? I don't think so. But I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything out here first. There's so much to explore! I only have eight minutes until I gotta eat again. There's definitely more stuff out here. I think the, uh, the temple thing, or the shrine, is like at the top. Ah! I really gotta shoot those things with arrows. Another tree branch. Okay, there wasn't really anything up here. That I can see. I'm surprised how much of like the interface and everything they kept the same. I mean, I guess don't fix what it what it ain't broke. Or bomb flowers. I assume if I hit the bomb flowers, I'll die. Nice, some more amber. Still the same, yet familiar. Yeah, it's like it's just enough novelty to really make it worth, um, worth uh, you know, worth the full price. I mean, I guess it's like more. <gasps> this has to. Is it? No, it's not. Ah, what is that? It looked like it has to. It looked like the right colors and everything. <laughs> I was about to go up and hug it. All right, 
You know what? I'm gonna try out. Where's the bomb? It's used by attack power, by used, by Zonai devices. That's a like like. Oh, okay. I know how to dispatch these. I probably shouldn't have been standing so close. Oh wait, was I supposed to attack the thing as it came out? Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Where's my soldier reaper? Alright, come on out. Come on out. I don't have that many more bomb arrows. Oh. Oh no! Oh, my bow! You bastard! I assume that, like, takes durability. Alright. How about a fire fruit? Will this work? Jeez. Like, like stone. Alright, this better have been worth it. Boy, those things are annoying. It was like the right size and shape and color for Hestu, so I just... I thought it was friend. Turns out, it was horrible. big bright bloom seeds because uh, I wasted a couple. Not that I'm short on supplies it seems. More bomb flowers. Oh god it's another one. Do I have to use an elemental thing to attack it? Oh I'm doing like critical damage or something. Flame emitter shield? Wait, what? Excuse me, flame emitter. Oh, so is it just fire that causes the like likes to um to expose? I guess next one I see I'll try to light it on fire. A really good shield to take down like likes. Ah, okay. I'm understanding. Right, I think I see more peppers. I hope that's more peppers. Nope. It was a mirage. Caused by my desperation. Oh no, what is that? Ah, it's just a an icy choo choo. Ah, you won't freeze me this time. Challenge now is to count every astra, every arrow Astra shoots. Yeah, guys gotta be paying attention. You never know when I'm just gonna accidentally fire one or something. Oh, I can make more axes here. Uh, wait, what happens if I attach? Um, Attach a, uh, a sharp rock to a, a sword. I got a sword axe. Oh, it's a stone axe, but it's a sword. Okay. I guess you can't be that creative. I hear something. Ah, up there. Can I climb this or is it too icy? If I did count every save Eventide did per Subnautica, I think it's possible for arrows. 
Hello, Kazkillos. Welcome, welcome. You can just use the exclamation mark arrows command. Oh, I see vertical surfaces are slick and hard to climb. Ah, okay. Um, you can use the exclamation mark arrows command to, uh, to increment the number of arrows I've used. Oh, it's another captain. Ah, what a pain! Oh god, there's two of them. Oh god, they can't be critted, can they? Okay, they can. Which one do I have on? Oh no! Oh! They have arrows as well. Wait, flame emitters. Wait, uh... Will this work? Nope, nope, no! Ah! No! Well, luckily I saved right before I started that encounter. Alright, I gotta really figure out how to deal with the, uh, with those guys. I like the menu HUD for this, trying to be better. Yeah, I mean, it's still, it keeps that nice minimalism. Tied by his own love, yeah. It keeps that nice minimalism. While, like, conveying all the information you need. Alright, is there any way for me to, like, ambush them? Like, can I maybe hit them from afar? He's gonna shoot back at me too. Ah, but his aim isn't as good as mine. Aha! They don't understand arrow arcs. This is going to be a lot of arrows, so, uh... <laughs> I have to defeat these guys! You don't understand! Oh, my bow! Maybe we should find a way to, like, increment arrows more than one at a time. They seem to try to be firing into the ground. They're gonna die eventually! Well, oh, another bow broke. Are they weakened yet? Alright, maybe, maybe they're weak enough now that I can, uh... That I can just go up and hit them. Oh, my soldier reaper is about to... Oh yeah, look. Look how weak they are now. Okay, uh, what's my next strongest weapon? Rock hammer, I guess. Or stone axe. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Stop shooting, this not FPS. No, of course not, it's a third person shooter. All 
Alright, I gotta recollect all the arrows that didn't hit. Oh no, my cold uh, resistance ran out. Rusty broadsword, I don't really need that. Okay, worth it. I don't have a glider, okay. I'm so close to the shrine, I just need to figure out how to get up this wall. I'm guessing I have to construct something? Oh wait, there was um... There was those flame things over there. Wait, where are they? Oh, they're up there. Can I use those? Can I like melt the ice on the wall? I guess I can only use one of these. Must I attach it to something? What can I attach it to? I don't know right now. I'll just jump down with it, it should be fine. Can I melt the wall here? Like, if I put this here, and then hit it, and hit it with a lower quality weapon, I guess. It's not really doing much. Boy, this... Oh! Oh, my, my stick's on fire. Okay. That's not really useful? I mean, it's useful. I'm just not sure how. Hit it with a bow? Hit what with the bow? The flame thing? Wait, do I have a spare weapon? I do, I have a tree branch. Alright, I got a flamethrower on a stick. Wait, what if I... Holy crap! I'm a pyromaniac! Wait, I gotta go fuse the other thing. Do I have another spare? I could probably afford to um, destroy fuse. Alright, I gotta go fuse this with the other one, just so I have two of them. I wish I could fuse it with my arrows. How are you carrying a rock? <laughs> I've had it since like the beginning of the game. <laughs> I haven't lost my rock shield yet. <laughs> Alright, I got two flame swords. Oh wait, the rusty broadsword. Is that better than a stick? Probably. Oh, but if I destroy it, it's gonna be gone. Ah, whatever. Alright, I got a flame on a stick. Let's see something try to stop me now. Alright, I gotta figure out how to get up there. What happens if I do this? That's awesome. Also, my stick's on fire. Flame Emitter Club. I'm part of the Flame Emitter Club. Okay. This isn't like the rain thing where you can like make progress eventually. Can I just like... Okay, that's not working. How do I get up here? Do I have to build a bridge? They have stamina, but Link can like carry rocks like it's nothing. I mean, have you seen Link in some of the games? Like, he can block like an entire falling building with his shield. 
I'm pretty sure canonically he could just carry a rock around with no issues. Build a long log and climb it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Oh, it's a little crooked, that's okay. Oh, it's making a weird arc thing. Is it not gonna like attach straight? It's a little unorthodox, but it should work. Oh, okay, you're colliding with stuff. Eh, that looks stable. It's as long as nobody tries to set it on fire or anything. Nailed it! More arrows, because I used a bunch of them. Whoops! Oh, well, I lit the fire, I guess, so that's good. I could have used this, though. I can just sit at the fire. You can pass time by the fire. Nah. <clears throat> I should cook some more uh, food because I did use a bunch in that construct battle. <clears throat> Let's see. Make a little fruit mix here. I accidentally dropped it instead of cooking. Fruit, nice. Get some fruit and some meat in here. <laughs> oh, is that like a critical cooking? I got salt. Let's add some of that to some meat. <laughs> Salt grilled meat. That was like a different tune. Does that mean something? Does that mean like I cooked really good? <laughs> nice meat skewer. Let's see. Oh, I can mix some veggies in here too. Get a nice balance. Gotta have a good diet. Some steamed meat. Mostly looking to avoid spoilers. That's right. We appreciate it, Lara. Is it because I used salt? Or was it just because I got like really lucky? Yeah, okay. Maybe maybe the critical cooking was just because I got lucky. Okay, can't cook with those. I mean I could. Let's see. 
That was just some like grilled hygro melon. Oh, heat resistance. I forgot that's what that does. How about just some mushrooms and vegetables? Okay, that's pretty good. How much food do I have? Alright, that's probably enough dishes to at least survive another battle. Oh, we made it to the shrine! Right, that's why we were coming up here. Gutenbach Shrine. And a, and a Gutenbach to you too. What do you got to say? I just realized his, how short his legs are. I thought he was really tall, but he's floating. And his legs are just tiny. Good thing he gave me his arms and not his legs. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Which power do I get now? Is it going to be like the diving one? Oh, yep, it's uh, the swim through walls one. Ascend. There's slots for three more. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top. Legs pretty long, just covered up with clothes. Do they? Like, proportionately, his legs look really short. Like, normally your legs are like half your body, but his legs are like the size of his torso. Mm. Alright, use Ascend. Let's go. The ability to rise. This is going to be like the best traversal ability. <laughs> guess that I have to ascend here. Anatomy still exists? Yeah, but like, his legs don't look that long. A stone axe, okay. Uh, do I need this? I got two stone axes already. I guess I don't need this board guster, I haven't used it in a while. play at that game. Oh, I did not mean to use my flamethrower. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Ropes. Yeah. His axe. Ah, and then I'm supposed to just ascend through it. I'm guessing that is an ascend proof thing. Eh? Wow, what was was that what it looks like when you ascend? Oh, it's like a teleport pad? Where am I? Oh wait, is there a limit to how, how like how high you can ascend? Like can I ascend from here? Ah, okay, there is a limit. Huh. 
It's with that, it's with that transition. Next time we play Breath of the Wild 2 again, Aura will join in, right? I mean, she's playing on her own right now, but if you want, she can go commentate. I don't I wouldn't mind. I think that's everything. I got all the chests, right? I mean, I think Aura's doing her own stuff right now. All right, I think that was the three things, so we can open the Temple of Time and then we'll probably call it. We're already at almost four hours. I still haven't figured out how to use that gacha machine. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Is he gonna give me a glider now? No? Okay. You wanna cut me cut. Oh look, there's a dragon! Alright, uh... Didn't I already break these crates? Why are they back? Oh, there's nothing in them. Alright, guess we'll just head back. Oh, I see, we can ascend through this. It's Shenron! <laughs> Pretty sure it's like Neri or something. Oh, oh, you can cancel the ascent. That's cool. Ah, and then I'm guessing I have to ascend through this. Some more Zonai charges, noise. Oh, cold resistance! Let's go! That's not the inventory button. I no longer have my fabulous skirt, but you know, that's okay. Oops. Oh, a Korok! Surely. Yaha! Bye bye! You know what you did. Alright, uh. Right, I was supposed to go. that away. What is that? It's like a glider thing. Hold on, I gotta check that out. There's more Zonai parts? Oh, it's, uh. Rasmur, Raru. Zonai so devices with a pinnacle of our technology. Use the Zonai devices will be much easier. Okay. Have you ever played a Tony Hawk game? I have. I, I played, I think, Thug on PS1. Um, and I played Pro Skater as well. I think I played Pro Skater 1 and 2, and then I played Thug. Oh, so that's, okay. I, 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 that's probably what I was thinking of. I don't remember, it was all in that kind of era. Oh, it's another gacha machine. Alright, can you explain to me how to do this? This is a rarity. Uh, would you like to use the, the, the device dispenser? See the Bullright receptacle? Resources in your hands can be deposited there. Except resources such as construct horns and zonai charges. The altitude is incredibly high, it's no easy task. A wing type Zonai device are useful. Zonai capsules are very convenient, they're portable forms of Zonai devices. 
Ah, okay. Thank you for explaining it. Alright, wait, I can just do this. Uh, sort. Zone I... Oh, there it is. Zone I charge. Uh, drop. Take. No. Drop. Can't take it out here. Why not? Uh, select? Oh, no. How do I just put it in my hand? Alright. Put in. Get Thug Pro? Okay. I haven't played a skateboarding game in a long time. I got a fan! Alright, I wanna do... Let's gotcha! I did not mean to use that. Dang it. Can I put in multiples? Oh, what is that? A wing! Mod your model into Thug Pro? That would be cool. I wouldn't mind doing that. Oh, I can put in all five. Will it give me five out? I probably should have tested just two first. Oh my god! I should have been putting in five from the start. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, flame emitters, wings. Alright, hold on. I'm going gacha! Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, my cold resistance is almost up, too. Alright, how do I use this? <clears throat> I can ultra hand this. Alright, I wanna fly over there. How do I use it? Oh, there's more of them down there. Do I have to just like launch it? I don't want to like drop it off the edge, but I guess we'll see what happens. Oh. How do I use it though? Alright, my cold resistance is about to run out. I only need it for a little bit more. It's just one of these. Can I fuse it? I can fuse it with my stick or something. I don't know what would happen if I fuse it though. Wait, what happens if I fuse it with my shield? Can I like then... Wait, will this... Will this let me fly? Hold on, I gotta like... I gotta find somewhere to jump off of. Oh, it looks awesome, too. Look at that. Oops. Oh, wait. Was it letting me fly? Hold on. I don't know if this is how I was supposed to use it. I really wonder what happens if I fuse it to my sword. Nope, that didn't really seem to do much. Alright, well, now I have a cool-ass shield, at least. Um, and at least there's two more here for me to experiment with. Um, oh, there's one more up there as well. Do I have to, like, attach a fan to it? I mean, I have some fans. Wing shield. Damn, that looks awesome. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna make another wing shield just so that I have one. Ah. Alright. Um. 
Could buy a rock shield, at least for now. Uh, Zonai devices. All right, I got a lot of these. All right. Ban. Take out. Oops. Uh... Surely. Okay, is this how it's supposed to be used? I don't know, but it looks awesome. It does not seem to be doing much. What happens if I attach a flamethrower to it? What if I what if I put it like here where it's like straighter? Like if I put it here and then we launch. Okay. That doesn't seem to be doing much. I can't lift it while I'm standing on it. Oh wait, am I supposed to- is this rails? No! No, no! Come back! Come back! Oh no! No! Shit! Where did I last save? Okay, that failed horribly. Am I supposed to... supposed to... Oh, I'm back here. Wait, did I lose... Yeah, I lost all my Zonai devices. Um... Okay, I just got out of there, and I was looking for that other gacha machine. Where is it? Alright, I was... Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't lose too much progress. But I guess it's kind of a blessing in disguise, because I used a couple of um, Zonai charges on the machine before I knew that if you put in more, it would give more out. So I kind of saved myself a little bit. Oops, wrong button. Okay. I definitely know what to do first. First, I'll make an awesome wing shield. Next, I need to... Where's my charges? There they are. Give me gacha! I'm addicted to gacha. I can't believe they put gacha in a Zelda game. It's pay to win. Can you believe that? Was I not supposed to attach the fan? Was I supposed to just let it go off the edge? <laughs> Alright, one more. One more set. these capsules in real life for like Zelda toys. That would be awesome. I would love to have a couple of those. Alright. Gotta make at least two wing shields. Alright, now this one. I just put it down here. And then, 
Wait, do I have a spare sword or anything? I do not. You know what? I don't need this many axes. I'm I'm really wondering what will happen if I stick um uh stick this to my stick. Bam! Wing stick! Oops, wrong button. Soaring stick. Will this actually like No, 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 not again! Okay. Should I attach a fan or nah? I'm going to. Because I got 19 fans, so I might as well. Let me put you down here first. Nope, that's not correct. Alright, my cold resistance is about to run out, but that's okay. Alright. Alright, here we go. I don't think it's working. It feels like I'm probably not supposed to attach the fan. I'm gonna do it. I'ma do it! Turn on the fan. It's working! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it working? Okay, okay. The glider will just go down gently. Oh, okay, so I can steer it like this. Oh no! Oh no! Thank you, Faithful Glider. You were awesome. Man, I really like the design of this thing. This is really cool. I'm a 3D print one. Alright, we made it to the Temple of Time without dying. Graceful, as always. I didn't see you can do. You can do this. Thank you for believing in me. That probably shouldn't have worked. <laughs> I wonder if the different capsules give different items or different gacha machines. Finally made it. How many times did I die? Should we have had a death counter or is an arrow counter fire? Ooh, this looks like it might take a little bit. Good thing it's Friday. The closed door complete. Oh, it's just a big old thingy. Normal to die in this game? That's fair. Is it, is it not normal to use arrows? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be like a combat trial. Who's that? Zelda? She like trapped again. I'm not sure you want to shake my hand. It's a little mingy right now. Isn't it kind of rude to have your eyes closed?
My bird shield looks so awesome. I kind of wish I still had my rock shield on, though. My faithful rock shield. It has barely defended me this, <laughs> this game so far. Ooh, my arm is glowing. Am I about to get a new power again? A rune? Peace out. Well, I hallucinated that. Just like I hallucinate the Koroks. Recall. Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop reverse at any time. Hmm. Ah, recall. The ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. Hmm, time travel. And Zelda has vanished as well. Okay, so it was Zelda. Hmm. What you just saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. Hmm. Though you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. I'm guessing I probably have to reverse those gears. Alright. Hold on. Oh, I see. Was I supposed to go to the center? I think I was. Stop. Okay. It looks like there's no cooldown on this either, which is good. I guess I'll just wait for a second. That's a really cool effect. Cool. I really like that there's no cooldown on the abilities. Oh, wait, is this a goddess statue? <clears throat> the goddess statue smiles upon you. That's it? I don't get to exchange my like light thingies for for health. I really need it right now. <laughs> oh, is it gonna be like Okay. So now I probably talk to the goddess statue. The door stands as a test of your own overall vitality. Ah, it's gonna be like the master sword. Mm. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it. But there's one more shrine on this island. There, you can get another blessing. Oh. If you add that to the other blessings you receive at the shrines and offer them to all the goddesses, you might just find your way forward after all. Mm. Ah. Let me see the pure pad. Pure pad lets you travel to certain places instantly. Now see all the blue marks on your map? You can travel instantly to any of them. I suggest you go to the one at the bottom of the map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of this island shrine somewhere there. Aha. All right. One more. We got. We gotta at least finish off this uh, the the tutorial island. We gotta at least get the glider. It's gonna be the same effect. It is. Interesting they didn't change that. I mean, I guess it looked good enough. 
falling death. Depending on height, you may take damage or die when you fall. As soon as I get the wind glider, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Ah! Now I can use the reverse power and the ascend power and everything to get through here. I also saw another power on that. What was that? Whoops! Map. Whoa, cool! I can just access the map? Oh, that's really cool. That's, like, convenient. Oh, oh no! I pressed the wrong button. Oh boy, alright, so this is going to be a test of all of the abilities that we've gathered. <laughs> I assume I'm going to have to fuse and stuff as well. he does with his hand is really cool. Ah, one more shrine. I found it. Nachoya Shrine. Or Nakoya Shrine? Ability to rewind. Wait. Uh, this one does give a little bit more armor than this one. But I just look so good in a skirt. I'll wear this. For now. Ah, I'm guessing I have to rewind the entire water. No, wait. Rewind. Interesting. It's going against the flow of water. Ah, and then now I have to go up the thing. Oh, I see, that shows the path that it's on. Even better. Right, any more treasure chests? Wait, is that water on the ceiling? Whoa, check that out. That's awesome. I assume that's like that for every shrine. Oh, I see. I have to, like, get them to line up. Nailed it. Light blessing.
Ugh, I just squished a fly on my screen. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll clean that out later. Um, Alright, now we gotta go get the goddess statue. Map. I gotta go back to the Temple of Time. <clears throat> The new arm powers are going to take some getting used to. The essential one especially. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely going to be interesting. Alright, I assume we're going to like get the wind glider and then head back down to Hyrule. Alright, I can dive from here, right? this thing on fire? Oh, it's a campfire. If anybody's used any exploits like with like the Zonai devices to get to like uh, get to the ground or get to like some end game area really early because like you can see in the distance all this stuff um, I bet with enough patience you could do it The no cooldowns makes it like flow so much better. I feel like I can almost do par almost do parkour with Link. You have conquered the shrines and claimed the lights of blessing. Uh, give me a heart container. Oh, do I not have a choice for a stamina container? Oh, I guess I need the four hearts to open the door right now. <sighs> Finally, I'll die slightly less. Oh, and more of the fog is disappearing from me. Go and bring peace to the world. All right. Let's try it. Yeah, I assume that you can't even pass this without the actual prerequisite. Oh, I can't yet. Wait, what am I supposed to do then? I can't leave this island yet, can I? I don't have a wind glider. There's a video of somebody speedrunning the game in 98 minutes? Really? I've been playing for like four hours now. 98 minutes is like an hour and a half. I didn't even like get out of like the beginning area for 90 minutes. All right. Um Adventure log, the closed door. I completed it already. 
Okay, so now I have to... Oh, cool, the device dispensers show up on the map. Oh, and different dispensers have different Zonai devices. All right, hold on, I gotta go check that one. You pray the Omnisaya? I'm not sure what that is. You use your arm powers on the door? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's just like a health check. Wait, how do I get out of here? The tech god of Warhammer 40k, ah. I am unfamiliar. I uh, do not play Warhammer 40k. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, this is a shrine I just completed. Wait, there's a construct bot here. This is a crystal refinery. Take your crystallized charges and uh, produce energy wells. Energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell. Oh! Shall I begin production? Yes. Require a hundred crystallized charges? The mines on this island have nearly run dry. I doubt there's enough left to produce an energy well. Check the dis distant depths of the world below. Ah, okay. So it's gonna be a while before I, I get this. Good to know, though. Okay, so, okay, so crystal refinery, zonai device, oh, mining cave, cool, they even marked that for me. Forge construct, this is where I found some Koroks, the room of awakening. Bubble drugs. Praise God. Uh, let's check out those gacha machines at least. See what see what um see what they have in store. I'm kind of lost on where to go next. I guess I have to keep exploring? When do I get the wind glider? Oh right, this is the beginning. Can I like go towards one of these? There's definitely more stuff here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, this isn't. <laughs> what What's gonna happen if I reload from here? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alright, what's gonna happen when I reload? I really, really miss my wind glider. Why doesn't the, my wing shield do anything? Alright, so the gacha machine is over there. Splat, indeed. 
Alright. Can I aim? Is that a body of water that I can aim to? Like, there's that one, but I can't get over there fast enough. Is this a body of water? I guess it's as good a body of water as any. Oh, this is the one where I had to build a raft to get across. Do these replenish? Nope. Mm. Excuse me. Seems like tapping the run button is actually less efficient than just running. Where's the gadget machine? Is it up there? All oh, right, I did this before. It was a. It was a, a, a Zonai soldier battle. At least now I know how to, <laughs> excuse me, now I know how to get through this lit up or this unlit cave. Oh, there's a seed thing. Now I can at least light this up. Because I know how. Wait, do I have an empty shield or something I could use? Uh oh. Do I have an empty weapon I can use? Alright, I'm gonna have to make one. Uh, I don't need these stone axes. Or can I just drop the seed on the ground? Can I hit it? Ah, okay. I did it, guys. I lit up the darkness. Now I can see stuff. I wonder, is that permanent? Like, is that just in my world now? Might be nice to light this area up, too. Wait, can I do it from the quick menu? Oops. Uh, drop. <laughs> Glow sticks, yeah. Alright, well, I guess while I'm here, I might as well buy these. Crystallized charges. Uh, I'll take them all. Deal. Alright. Well, at least they re recharge every now and then, so... So I can just gotta come back here every now and then and get a hundred of them. Um, right, I was looking for the gacha machine. Alright, I need a fan and I don't want to walk all the way back, but I got a ton of these, so whatever. I have them, might as well use them. When else am I going to use them?
Boy, don't you wish we had like self recharging batteries in real life? That would be sweet. Wow, the, the flowers that I left up here are still here, so are they just permanently now? I assume you can only have like so many in the world. How am I doing? I'm doing good. How are you, Funeral Dirge? I'm enjoying the game. Alright, what items does this machine have? Portable pots. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Let's do that. Ah, okay. So. Oh, okay. So now that shows that. What was the other one? It was over here. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. So now I can kind of see what I need to see. Now I need to figure out what I need to do next. Um... Surely... Alright, do you have anything useful to say? Ah, uh, okay. Alright, um... I'm so lost. Okay, that was the... I was getting the... Um, and the Korok across. I missing something? Was I supposed to talk to him at the at the place? Cave. You offer them at the goddess statue, and they regain enough strength to take on the door's test of vitality. I just did that, didn't I? Don't I have four hearts right now? I, was I supposed to talk to the goddess statue again, maybe? I just kind of like tried the door and was like, well, I'm, I'm, I can't open it. I might as well just give up. Where's the temple of time? There it is. Is there water beneath me? There is. game time. I wonder if we'll hear that throughout the entire game or if it's just on this big island here. I guess it's supposed to be like a diegetic 
reminder that it's um, that it's like the start of an in-game day. I'm guessing there are probably a lot of events tied to the actual in-game timer. Wait, was I supposed to go underneath? Is there anything? No, there's not. I guess that water's there for just if you fall. That didn't do anything. I don't have enough hearts to open this door. Oh, was I just doing it wrong? I was absolutely doing it wrong. I was... I was, uh... tapping the button instead of holding it. I'm a dummy. I'm a big dumbo that just wasted like 20 minutes. Glowing like the Master Sword. You have one too. Oh wait, that's him. Good. That's Rama. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Neat. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Wait, is he just going away? I thought he was going to be like my guide through the whole thing. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. <clears throat> All right. And a little bit more progress, finally. Now, how do we... Ah. I supposed to do? I can't jump across. Am I supposed to use like a device? Like a Zonai device? Oh wait, I've fallen now. Oh right, the ascension power. You are absolutely right. You were you were right in that we were absolutely gonna forget to use it. Thank you, Pimple Venter. Really gotta remember that power. It's such a useful power. <laughs> yeah, now, now I understand. They gave us, like, so many abilities. Alright. What is this? The sword! Is it restoring some power?
Oh, it's reversing itself? Is it gonna like reverse itself to restore itself? <gasps> Zelda! Wait, she wasn't wearing that at the beginning of the game. No, she had her blue outfit on. Did I like send the sword back in time? Or forward in time? Well, there goes my sword. Luckily I have this wing sword. It's alright, I broke the sword at the beginning of the game anyway. I'm trying to cut down a tree. Dorgan. Yep, that's Link. Hyrule. What is that? Link! You must find me. Looks like some kind of monster camp or something. To the kingdom of Hyrule. Do I just jump? Where do I go from here? Is this like a chest? Nope. There's no way I just jump, right? Oh, there is a pool of water. Leap of faith! Should I land in that smaller pool? I'm gonna try to land in the smaller pool. Wow, it's a long way down. Should I land in the smaller pool? Maybe the bigger pool. It's a little higher up, elevation-wise. It's easy to descend. It's, uh... Tougher to ascend. Oh, if I hit a lily pad, will that be bad? Hyrule Kingdom. Ooh, this looks familiar. I have not played Breath of the Wild in a very long time. I want my wing glider. Where is it? Come here, fish. Staminokabas. Oh no! First thing I do when I reach the ground is immediately try to catch a fish and die. Alright, I need better tools for catching fish. Um Wait, all the uh like a uh, the Akala towers or whatever they were called are still there. Do I just have to like use the, the pad on them? Ooh, more chili bushes. Ooh, fire fruit, even better. Dazzle fruit. Ooh, electricity? Oh, what is that? A cobland. You think you're safe. He's got like, oh, a fruit or something on his back. Oh, he was just gathering apples. But cobbling horns. Ooh, what's these? Violets? Oh, I can't even pick them up. Is 
This looks like stuff to build a wagon. Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use this material cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like to dream home. Hudson Construction. Now, an important question in every Zelda game. I can indeed whack the sign. <laughs> Oh, I can pick it up. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I can indeed fuse everything here together. But to what end? That looks like a Korok's dump. Build the wagon, stick the fan in. Yeah! Deer. Oh no, it's on me. Oh, there's rabbits now too. And a warthog. So many more animals. Alright, All right, so I can use these things. I'm not sure how. I certainly could spend some time to build a wagon, but I just need to figure out where to go. Over here, I guess. Maybe I should build a wagon, I don't know. Let's try to maybe at least build a skateboard, maybe. It might be faster. Can I, like, use this thing to, like, prop this up? Wait, what, what was that? Falling rocks? Alright. We'll attach... Uh, an axle? That's not straight at all. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I guess we should like do a proof of concept first. Alright, will the wheel even spin? It looks like it's all gumped up. I should like build walls and stuff on this car as well, or to you know have some kind of protection. Right, hold on. This piece of wood is getting away. Also, oh, oh, I didn't realize this was connected. Nope, that's not where I wanted to stick. I gotta put it back up on the, the thing. Okay. Now we have our skateboard. Oh no, the one of the wheels is crooked, I just realized. It does roll though. Hmm. 
No! No! Darn it. I wonder if the time spending... Oops. The time spent building this... is even worth... like how much time it's gonna save traveling to our destination. Like if we just started walking instead of building... Would we have gotten there faster? Do I even have a way to steer this? I don't have like any steering components. Also, some of the wheels are a bit off. Oops. Okay. That looks okay, right? Alright, let me save real quick before I start using some more limited items. Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Is there like a stasis? Alright. Alright, I do have a lot of fans, so. I could spare one. Alright, hopefully, hopefully the wheels are tall enough. It's kind of working! We're off on an adventure! It didn't work. Alright, maybe it just needs to be, like, refocused. Is one of the wheels still still a little off? It is. There we go. Come on, car, go. Stone Axe is badly damaged. The car's got nowhere. Alright, I'm just gonna walk. Wait, one more idea. I'm thinking the fan is like dragging the uh <clears throat> dragging the car a little bit. What if I raise the fan just a little bit? Wait, which part am I grabbing? Okay, so what if I instead put it up here? Oh, now it's rolling a little better. Hey, it's kind of working! I have no way to steer it, but it's working. There's more construction materials. Great. Oh, there's so many shrines and stuff. Fuck goblins. You're no match for me. Oops. You might be a match for me. Oh, wait, they're like a little blind. Ooh, that was close. Oh! What do I got? What do I got? Flame Club! I got two of them. Hit! 
I don't have my wind bladder yet. Oh, that wasn't a headshot. There we go. Coblin fangs. Can't carry any more shields. Oh, I might have to get rid of a wing shield. Or my stone shield. Sundalion. Bukobo. Uh, I guess I don't need it. Whoops. That one didn't count. That was an accident. Alright, I think the rusty shield is slightly better. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to get rid of my boulder shield. You have been loyal, dear boulder shield. I will miss you. It counts? Okay, that's fair. Um... Right, so I see a bunch of shrines and stuff. Ooh, I see bomb. Wait, what's what's my quest objective right now? to the Kingdom of Hyrule, okay. Rusty Broadsword. Um, definitely don't need this. Oh, I see. Oh, that looks like a monster camp or something up ahead. Zordo. It's uh it's good. Oops. Didn't mean to do that, I just meant to change weapons. Rolling up to the club in my tracked out whip. Oh, they've alerted. Oops! Darn it! I guess I can eat this right now. Uh. Larry Rush! Have you started it, Flair? I saw Aubrey was playing it. Also, welcome to the stream. Can we give a shout out to Mythic Duo? It's a rock hammer, it's a wooden stick. Alright, anything useful here? Ah. Nailed him. Rusty Halberd, I don't need that. Opal. Rusty Broadsword. I can use a Rusty Broadsword. Are stuck. There we go. Sure, you need that rusty halberd. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll take it. Oh, there's oh, there's a big sword here. I'll take the halberd. Oh. Come on. Come on. And I will attach it to my car. Good. 
There, now I have some defensive options. <laughs> The rusty claymore is more powerful, but I don't like using claymores. They're too slow. Attach. Alright, now my car is dangerous. Alright, let's get going. I like how Link's uh, hair is blowing in the wind. There's so much construction material on the way. <laughs> Era of military vehicles. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I need to turn the vehicle anyway. I don't have steering yet. I have weapons, but I don't have steering. Evolution is a slow and sometimes painful process. Uh, it's kind of turning with the uh, with the road. Don't mind me, Bacoblins. I'm just cruising by. Uh oh. these shrines and stuff. Can I mark it? Uh-oh. Okay, okay. I can take them. I can take them. They're just some bokoblins. Oh, they got big sticks. Oh. Oh no. Ah! Boy, I am munching through my snacks. Oh, it's destroying my shield, too. I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, he picked up the shield. My rock hammer! Boy, that was annoying. Can't carry any more shields. Ah, oh, that's fine. Another rock hammer, alright. Ooh, a traveler spear. Alright, um... Right, so that was the thing. Oh! Not over yet. I do not understand the arc of these arrows. Got him, finally. Do we still have any axes? Oh, I think I broke them all. I think will these crush these? Ah, yeah, good enough. Oh, 
Boy, I wonder how high that number is going to go by the end of this playthrough. I assume I'm going to be firing thousands of arrows. Not to mention all the off-stream grinding. Oops. I probably should not be using my rock hammer for this. Oh, I think I'm almost at the settlement. Alright, I'll just leave this here. I have arrived! Hello, I'm here for my wind glider. What is that? It's another sharp rock. I'll attach it to this rusty broadsword. <laughs> Hello. Link? Mr. Link? Is that really you? Where have you been? I've been asleep for like a hundred years. No one seemed you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Pura's barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. Oh. At the moment, Pura should be in that building with the telescope. Please hurry there. She'll want to know that you're alright. Well, I'm glad you recognized me. Clothing shop. Hylian hood, Hylian tunic. I don't have any rupees. I have more arrows. Horse. I assume this building? Hey, Robbie! What a pleasant morning! Hey, hey, you! Where have you been? Robbie! Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pira. She's been in a tizzy ever since the, you and her princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope on from the second floor. Go see her and uh, give her some peace of mind, will ya? Oh, I'll go see her, alright. And what is this? Pose. Oh, let's just go to the other side. Can I ascend through here? I can. Haha! -ha, who needs stairs? Eh? What? Oh, Josha. A hair. Those eyes. D the duck? Oh. Dr. Bira! The swordsman, the swordsman has returned! <sighs> eh? Wait, she's... she fixed her, uh... Now where have you been? She's no longer tiny. Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? I probably am. Hey. Looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. Hello. <laughs> what exactly happened? Pura. She fixed her tiny problem. Now she's voiced by Kate Higgins again. Did she voice, um, did she voice Pyrrha in the Hyrule Warriors? So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Nice. She's all grown up. Then Zelda falls after having into a down. fissure and vanishes. That I think she basically the discovered immortality. Then 
Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. This would have been perfect for the start of next stream. Get I probably should have stopped. From an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Ravu. Why is she recapping this? The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice. And find your way. Discover a mysterious mommy. I do like this Pira more than the Lolly Pira. What? Then? What? Are you saying you came from all the way up there? Yep, just sky dove. This Raru you met. I think that's that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. And are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. Sure that you heard the princess speak to you? And she gave you a clear message to find her? If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive! Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and she needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search, up, search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Haas. Work with him and find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning, to say the least. But we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Oh, nice. Oh, look, you can see the Lollipira in there as well. She used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century old, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Neat. Christ is at Hyrule Castle. Alright. When do I get my wing glider? Ooh, notes on the people. Boy, there's a lot of stuff on the ground. one of the uh oh it's one of the the, t the towers but we don't have a Sheikah slate anymore and we got the pura pad all right this seems like a good place to at least stop for now uh we have gone five hours i mean we knew this was gonna happen uh i just want to look around real quick i mean we collected a lot of opals maybe we should at least buy a hood can I sell stuff? Who sells stuff? Do you sell stuff? Highland Armor series. Are you the shopkeeper? Oh, okay, yeah. I keep track of time, it's Friday and it's fun? Okay. Should I keep going then? How are you feeling, Laura? I sell four of these. Uh. I should be able to buy the hood. <laughs> oh. uh. Mubs. Her name is Mubs. Oh. I wonder if I'll change my hair at some point. Like, if I'll get an option. Uh, oh, it wasn't 120, it was only 70. No. Playing Genshin? Oh, okay. Should I buy the tunic? No, I kind of like what I got now. I mean, this would be a huge upgrade for me. I mean, maybe it would prevent me from dying some more. Um, the pants wouldn't be so much of an upgrade. It's only one point upgrade versus that. 
Um, alright, if I need uh, 80 more. Alright. How's everybody else feeling? Sell all of these. Oh wait, I gotta sell one of these. I don't know if I need them later, but I'll just sell the one right now. Oh, this is beetle I picked up is 30 as well. It's worth as much as the uh, opal. You're good right now? Okay. Then, you know what? I'm still hype. I can still play a little bit. Buy the clothing, then go into an appropriate situation with the Great Fairy to upgrade it. Oh, I wonder if the Great Fairies are still in this game, or how else are we going to upgrade our equipment? All the NPC side characters are based on me? Um, I, I've heard that, Mr. Goal. It's uh, it's not that they're based on me, it's that the, the, gen, the, the generated appearances share the same code as the me's. So like the way their like their face shape and their eye positioning and their hair is determined is the same code as knees. So um, you can actually convert them into knees, and you can convert knees into um, uh, Breath of the Wild characters. It's pretty cool, actually. I really wonder what would happen if you converted. Um, one of those like ridiculous looking characters, like those people who have made like uh, those people who have made uh, like the face that looks like a penis or like the the burger head. I, I think I have a downloaded me that's like a burger head, um, and I wonder what that would look like in this game. Supposed to go this way? I don't think I can take my car in here. I wonder if it would be safe to leave it here. Wait, if I run into these, will this actually hurt? I have no idea. Alright, I'm just gonna have to leave my car. Oh, there's another shrine over there. Ah, uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. There we go, that's what I meant to do. Probably should have been stopping by the shrines then. That's okay. Mmm, thunder. Is that a silent princess? It is. I can fuse my sword with the silent princess. Oh no! Oh no, my shield! Doing shrines while you're wandering? Ah. Seems like a good way to do it. Two of them took too long to do. It's understandable. I imagine some of these are pretty challenging. Traveler's Claymore. That's pretty good, but I don't really need it. Alright, well, I guess I might as well do this while I'm here. Kyonis Shrine. I mean, I could stop for this and you can play, I don't mind. I, I could, I've been playing for five hours, I could certainly take a break.
All right, we'll do the shrine and then uh, probably a good time to call it. I'll do. I'll grind some more off stream. All right, what's the challenge here? Got some swords. And oh, it's a combat challenge. Oh no. Oh no. The shrine purifies. Uh, excuse me. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered here. Heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's my... Uh, I guess... I guess I'll use my stone axe. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to flurry rush him. Yep. <laughs> Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay. Wow, the uh, the timing for the glory rush is pretty generous, at least here. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening that you create. Oops. Dang it. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Okay, so it was basically just a combat tutorial. Mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, I can drop that. There's no more treasure chests around here, right? Zona Knight Sword. You know what? I can drop my Albert. I don't really need it. anybody's played that song in reverse yet also i want to figure out how to unlock all the maps like is it just going to the towers again bottomless bog yeah dramatic rainy there's miasma everywhere all right let's save and call it 